fine. Hi everyone. First of all, congratulations to each one of you for securing a very good marks in this ICRPG exam 2024. I guess like uh, the maybe students, you people have might started your preparation from third year, second year, fourth year, where you have dedicated yourself for a complete year, sacrifice so many things for this particular day where you will be getting a very good marks and a good seat at a good university or a top most premier institute of India. As per your dream, like you have secured very good marks. So what I would tell you is students who have secured a marks more than 300, they are all equal to me because it depends on the luck. Sometimes uh, knowingly, unknowingly, the students commit mistakes in the questions. So that is how like the marks differs from one to other. But if you are securing 300 plus, then you are in the toppers list, according to me. And this is how it is. It's not about like if someone is securing one marks higher than that, the other person doesn't mean that there is difference between the the people, the students. It's all because of the factors that can be considered during the exam also. So first of all, I again congratulate all the toppers. So we have also received uh, exceptional results from our platform as usual from the previous year too. Like like the previous year, we also got so many toppers from the aggregate platform. I'm very happy for that for now. And uh, we'll have some engaging sessions where we'll engage ourselves in discussing the things about the plan sciences, the exams, and overall your preparation strategies that you have followed for the complete year. Okay, so this poster was, uh, I did, I personally like this poster very much. I, we spent at least two days to prepare this poster. And this was done by my junior Shashank. First of all, uh, the highlights, like I'll just tell you, like what are the things to be discussed in this uh, particular session. But uh, before that, I'm not completely confident to, I'm not completely confident to wish you all a happy Independence Day because of the things that are happening around uh, India. Like as I think like most of you already know about it. Maybe we cannot do anything on a bigger scale, but at least what we can do is let's be socially responsible and let's, let's gain the strength, uh, mindset and the power to protect the women and children around us. So every thing matters and every little effort that we put will make a big difference that is what i can say and there are a lot of things that are going on hope uh, the victim will get the justice for whatever has happened hopefully in the future we can celebrate this independence day with the confidence with the love patriotism towards the country so now let us begin the session i hope you all are uh, i'm audible to you all right so can you just give me a confirmation yes sir yes sir yeah, fine. Thank you so much. I'm um, with a lot of though, like it's been already more than 18 plus hours that I have slept. Still seeing you all on the session, I'm getting gaining energy to speak up. Uh, session might be like 45 to one hour or more than that, depending on the kind of interaction we will be having. So before that, I just want you people to introduce yourself. Just keep it simple where you just uh, tell your name. It was college, uh, UG college and the marks you secured. Then we will discuss these points. So these are completely voluntary. If you are wanting to say something regarding any of these questions, let's start from why did you choose the plan sense? Then you can unmute and answer. Okay. I would recommend you like I could suggest like if you can switch on your camera and interact, that would be the best thing that you can do. Let's start from the this particular slide. So where is this in slide? Not in our orderly way. So whoever can start, can start by introducing yourself and keep it interactive. Just switch on your camera and just interact with the other students. This is the very first, uh, second time we are doing it where the people or student across the India can actually interact with one another before even getting the college. Maybe you might be, you all might be going to different universities of India, but just trust me, like you need to keep the connection with each and everyone, your batchmates, because that will help you in getting a uh, good information regarding the various fields so since you are going to do your masters masters is a very broader thing or broader field where you have to collect the informations from so many it's not like everything you'll get it from the book so i would engage uh, i would encourage you all just keep it en engaging yeah tushar you can start first of all happy 78th independence day to us all and now i am introduced myself myself tushar shivkumar ja i am from kota rajasthan and I did my UG from Vasantrao Naik Marathwada Kishi Vidya Peet Parvani Maharashtra. And in ICR PG Plant Science GRS examination, I scored 32 marks. 
ओके थैंक यू सो मच एंड कंग्रेचुलेशंस वंस अगेन सिक्योरिंग वेरी गुड मार्क्स इन दिस आईसीआरपीजी आई एम याशिका फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु आई स्टडीड माय यूजी इन अन्नामलई यूनिवर्सिटी तमिलनाडु आई सिक्योर 380 मार्क्स इन आई केयर पीजी एंड ट्रेंडिंग सम एंड थैंक यू या थैंक यू एंड आई कंग्रेचुलेट वंस अगेन for securing a very good marks in this icrpg exam 2024 thank you uh, uh, i am ronit sen i am uh, i completed my undergraduation from lovely person university this year i have given icrpg examination and i scored 378 thank you sir okay this is the guy like to whom i have spoken more than what i speak with my parents also from this past one month <laughs> Get. like he has been touch with me for the past 2 years it was a great journey like i already knew the potential of a candidate after the interaction it's already the starting of the fourth year and he has also secured a second rank in this icut 2024 i congratulate once again i am very proud of you thank you thank you sir thank you uh, hello everyone present here uh, this is varshita and i am from karnataka Uh, I did my UG uh, in Kerala Shivapanayaka University of Agriculture and Horticulture Sciences, Shivamogga, and have secured three hundred and seventy-seven marks in ICR PG twenty twenty-four in Plants and Subject. Uh, so thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Hi everyone. Hi sir. Uh, my I'm Spurti. I'm from Karnataka. I did my UG from University of Agriculture, VC, uh, Bangalore, Sub Campus College of Agriculture, VC for Mandya. I have secured three seventy six marks uh, in ICAR PG Plant Sciences. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much and uh, congratulations once again. Good evening, everyone. Sir, am I audible? And also one more thing, you can also mention about uh, current MSc, like where you are doing. Ronik has missed it, I guess. Like Ronik is already uh, admitted to BHU in the Department of uh, Genetics and Plant Breeding. Yeah, continue. Sir, am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Vivek Kumar. I am from Mujafarpur, Bihar. Uh, I have scored three seventy one marks in Plant Sciences examination, and uh, I I done I have done my BSc from Bihar Agriculture University, Savar. And currently, I am admitted in uh, Banaras Hindu University in Genetics and Plant Breeding Department. Yeah. Thank you so much, and uh, congratulations again. I completed my undergrad from Chaudhary Charan Singh Haryana Agricultural University, and I scored three sixty seven marks in my PG entrance. Yeah, thank you so much. It might be like a bit of uh, inter unstable internet connection. She's Tamanna, and she's from Isar, and she has secured All India three sixty seven rank in ICR PG twenty twenty four. Thank you so much, and uh, I, congratulations again. Good evening, sir, and good evening, everyone. I am Preeti Chakraborty, and I am from West Bengal. I completed my UG from Institute of Agricultural Science, Banaras Hindu University, and I have secured three sixty five marks in Plant Science GRF exam. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you so much, and uh, congratulations again. Good evening, sir. Yes, good evening. Very good evening. Uh, myself, Vitender Singh. I am from Jaisalmer, Rajasthan. I have completed my UG from Junagadh Agriculture University, Gujarat, and I have scored three fifty seven mark in this year PG entrance exam. Okay, thank you, thank you so much, and congratulations again. Okay, my name is Tridok Srinivas, and I am from Andhra Pradesh. I studied in Acharya Engineering Agriculture University, Guntur, and I got three fifty four marks in Plant Sciences. Thank you. Uh, hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Yamini Thakur, and I'm from Himachal Pradesh. I completed my UG from Dr. Y S Parmar University of Horticulture and Forestry, Solon, and I secured three fifty four marks uh, in this subject. And as of now, I didn't take admission in any college. Thank you. Myself is Jit, and I'm from Karnataka. I've completed my UG in uh, from the University of Agriculture Science, Bangalore, and under sub campus uh, University uh, College of Agriculture, Vizhi. Yeah, and I have secured three fifty three marks in this ICR PG entrance exam. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you so much and congratulations. Hi, hi everyone. I am Sugresh from uh, Raichur, Karnataka. I have completed my UG in uh, US Raichur. I have secured three forty five marks, three forty nine marks in uh, Plant Science ICR JRF. 
myself ashok benival from nagpur rajasthan i completed my graduation from junagadh agriculture university i secured 346 mark in icr jrf exam am i audible sir yes you are audible good evening everyone ashish chatri from tamil nadu currently i am studying finally in tamil nadu agriculture university sub campus agriculture college in jaipur walor news i have secured the A forty one mark in ICR B plan thing sir. Thank you sir. I guess like for most of you still the UG is come not yet completed yet right. So make yes. sure that you will get PDC at least by the end of September. So as per the counselling, like before the September you will be getting your uh, counselling uh, schedule. So make sure that you have your PDC or mass card before that. Even if okay, the sir. university is not able to provide the pdc there is one more option where the dean can give an give in a written form that uh, the student has completed all the degree requirements and he will be soon completing the degree even that is also okay because there is some problem with some other universities and also there are a lot of private universities which are not under icr so they not they do not actually follow the timeline of the icr as per the events so there might be a little bit a difference in the finish of degree so if you are the one then you can do that do this and if you also need any personal assistance regarding this you can contact me at any time okay thank you so much good and day. congratulations again good evening sir good evening everyone my name is akshit kumar singh i am from delhi i have completed my ug from shere kashmir university of agriculture sciences and technology shrinagar and this year my score is 339 in icr pg examination thank you so much hello everyone my name is sridhar Gore, I am completed my B.Sc. degree from Agriculture College, Kolhapur, under the MPK Viravari University from Maharashtra. I uh, I scored three thirty eight mark in Plant Science, JRF. Now I am uh, uh, admitted to Banaras Hindu University in Plant Science in Plant Pathology course. I am Purna from Karnataka, and I have completed my UG in U.S. Tharwad, Karnataka, and I have scored three thirty six marks in I.C.R. P.G. Plant Sciences exam. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, myself, uh, Muhammad Amin, yes, and I'm from Kerala, and I completed my uh, B.Sc. from R.K. College of Agriculture, Sihor, under the Ragma Kavira Vidya Vidya, which is with Jare Gwalior MP. And uh, this year in I.C. Uh, P.G. entrance exam, uh, I secured a three thirty four marks. And that's it. Thank you. Hi all. I'm Sahana from Tamil Nadu. I have completed my U.G. in Annamalai University. Uh, and I secured three thirty marks in ICR PG twenty twenty four. Thank you. Oh, is my video visible, sir? Yes, your audio video is visible, and I can see that you are a ACB fan. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, hi everyone. I'm from Bangalore, Myanmar. I studied at the University of Bangalore, 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 Bangalore,
I guess like uh, you, uh, others might be also seeing the marks here. She is Kaveshri and she, she has secured All India. Uh, she has secured uh, 309 marks in this ICR PG plan since 2024. Thank you so much and uh, congratulations. Good evening, sir, and good evening, everyone. My okay. name is Nitin Doda. I am from Shirganganagar, Rajasthan. I completed my graduation from Swami Keshwanand Rajasthan Agriculture University. I got 308 marks in ICRP. Okay. I was scared. Okay, they were all uh, author books. Later, I got to know it's a bookstore, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I just suddenly got scared like you are referring those many books. Fine, thank you so much. Now, like uh, uh, every year, like we just discuss these things once after the completion of the exams and uh, getting the scorecard or rank card. So in the previous years, previous previous year also, like we have done this and we have discussed few things which are actually necessary. And uh, most of the students who will be preparing for the exams, they should be at least have some knowledge about how to start their preparation. So for that, everyone gets is about why plant sciences. So if you have in your own answer, you can voluntarily unmute yourself and just answer this first question. Like, why did you choose this plant science? What was the motive behind choosing the subject? Good evening, everyone. Myself, Danush, from University of Agriculture Sciences, Bangalore, College of Agriculture, VC Farm, India. I have secured 338 marks in this year, ICRJRF examination. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, we will start. Uh, Vivek will start. Um, okay, may I? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Sir, uh, I have done my preparation for NEET and this subject was more familiar like genetics. I have already knew the basic concept and I was a little bit slow or uh, I can I have no fear to say that uh, I'm not very good in that application. So I choose this subject because it is more scientific than others and we don't have to do much ratification. Okay. And we can clear our concept much easier. Yeah. So this is the most common answer that everyone i that i have received in the previous years too like even like this is the main reason why i choose the plants basically i was interested in biology and i wanted to go uh, do my higher studies in the same subjects and in agriculture the most relatable and suitable one is plant sciences so i choose this subject not considering any other factors for me it was the only factor to choose the plant sciences and why msc it is just because that I did not want to stop my education at undergraduation level. I thought like I should explore more. And this is why like I prefer plant sciences. And this is my answer. So if anyone else is having any other answers Sir, to what... Any, one more uh, factor was there. Uh, one of your batchmates, uh, Mank, sir. Uh, I think you know him. Mank and Nabad. Uh, he was, yes. I think, uh, uh, top five rank in 2020 JRF examinations. And uh, he was from my college. So uh, he motivated more many students, and uh, uh, including my bachelors and seniors also. Okay. What is his name? Uh, uh, Mank, Mank Sinha. Mank Kumar Sinha. Okay, Mayank. So now he's an award, award officer. Yeah. Yes, sir. He's my bachelor. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's great. Like you people have got some help from your seniors. So this is how it is. And uh, we uh, in our time, we completely relied on our seniors. And we got everything from our seniors only. That's good to hear. Yeah. Any other answers other than uh, the need other than the subject interest? Any other answers? Like why did you choose the subject of plant science? Please, please be quick. So may I? Yes, yes. So like contrary to his answer, I'm a non-medical student, but okay. still I decided to choose this subject uh, like uh, because of two main reasons. First, uh, like I, as he said, I can't cram too much and the subject is more of understanding. And uh, secondly, at the time I was interested in civil services. So I looked to the uh, syllabus of agriculture optional and in agriculture optional paper too you will find like the most of part is from plant sciences. So this is how I chose my subject. So yeah, that's a very good answer, uh, a different answer that I got. And most of the students like who actually target for MSc, they prefer than of clearing this UPSC and getting an environment where they can prepare for these exams. 
and this is currently we have a trend that in IRA New Delhi there are so many seniors who have like uh, uh, who are actually came to IRA just because of the reason that they want to crack this UPSC at any cost and they compromise with the subject they are going to for the MSc and they finally done it. So this is the things from the past. If we just look back to into the history and this is how it was done. Thank you so much uh, for your answer. Anyone else? So in plant science, I'm personally interested in genetics and plant breeding. And uh, at this moment, I want to thank our uh, teacher like uh, Dr. Mahesh sir and uh, most of my classmates like Vijay and Danush will also agree with this. Like by hearing his lecture, lectures, we were like motivated so much that we were curious about how the varieties will be developed and what are the things that goes behind it. So then most of our classmates decided that we have to do MSc in plant science, sir. Okay. I think uh, you have your seniors here. I actually met my sir in the previous year. I was in GKVK and I met my sir and uh, Rupa actually introduced me to the sir. And I was also very much happy that, and I have heard the same thing from my batchmate to Abhishek. Like he said the same thing. The genetics was very good and was interesting because of this person. So uh, I'm very happy that someone has actually inspired you people to take the subjects and finally you have secured a very good marks in this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, sir. See, I completely agree with the, what Spoti told, sir. And I think uh, it was a second sem where I decided in my subject that uh, I should go with genetics uh, since... Okay, my very sir, second uh, sem. Uh, the first year. The class from the yeah. yeah, sir. Yeah, sir, from the very second time, and even have I contacted uh, uh, my senior Kavya uh, in I think in the second year, first time itself, uh, since I was motivated towards genetics uh, by listening uh, my sir's lecture. And uh, every day you, you used to put some questions and you used to give us a uh, homework, sir, uh, so that we used to think on that. And we were a lot, we were a lot more curious to know the things, and there was a lot of things to dig in the subjects. Yeah. Uh, so we was motivated. But the first reason was my sir, sir. Then the second reason was, uh, I think uh, even Spurti will agree with this. Uh, uh, me and Spurti were personally interested in getting into corporate field, sir, <laughs> so okay. that uh, we can, uh, so that we can apply the things. And uh, I think uh, genetics was a good subject where uh, we can grow in the corporate field. So this was the reason why I choose plant science, and uh, I love genetics. <laughs> Yeah, Thank yeah. You. Even in the, if you just, uh, students, if you just look it into the industry uh, mindset, there is a very big market for this particular genetics and also in case of seed science. So if you are looking forward to go into the corporate food, the priority should always be like uh, genetics. Then if you are interested in patho specifically, there is also a very good market where you can explore yourself, get to learn the things and you can build your career. That is a very good thing. But I heard some from someone that who is already actually interested to go in the corporate field. Okay, thank you so much. Yes. So let's go for the next yes. question. When did you begin your preparation? So just you can raise your hands. Like how many of you are very much sure that you wanted to do the plans in the very first year? You can just raise your hands. From the very first year, like you decided that you have to go for the subject. I got one. Okay, Vivek was already prepared from the very first year. Oh, that's great. By next, anyone else? Who has, okay, Varshita, fine. Like you people have already decided that you want, you want to go for MSc in the very first year. That's great. Spurti, Preeti, Ardha, okay, there are many. Okay, there are at least five to six. Trilok, fine. Anyone else? Yes, I see, see, basically I see there are a lot of change in the mindset of the students who are coming to BSA Agriculture now. Because to be honest, when I was in the BSA Agriculture, the environment, was not the same like now you people have in the very first year we did not even know about this msc we did not know about the msc and what after bsc agriculture we just like just came to bsc agriculture because of the trend that was going on where like everyone used to say like you will be getting a government job for sure once you get into bsc agriculture and for me specifically and most of my batchmates they started this preparation only decide like first of all decision they decided to prepare for this exam only after coming into fourth year or from the third year not before that no one literally no one has decided in our batch like batch in 2020 to start preparation from the previous year but in the nowadays like in the recent generation what i see is the people are already conscious about what they want to do in the future and they are they are very much sure about they are want to do the msc or they want to go for another some other fields yeah that's a great improvement 
next how many hours did you study per day on an average so let me just ask this on a scale you need not to see on an average means like whether it might be two years one years it may be three years just tell me the average scale so how many have of you have studied see uh, studying like on an average of eight to ten hours might not be possible until the end of your uh, finish of your academics only in the fourth year or only in the last two to three months you might have got this time to prepare for at least eight to ten hours a day so just consider that fact that when in your peak time just consider the fact that in your peak time of preparation how many hours did you study first let's start with 15 okay anyone above 15 okay i did i missed one thing so how many of you started your preparation from second year i asked first year so now how many of you from first, very second year that decided you people have to prepare for this msc from the second year onwards anyone no one from second year okay what about third year there are good numbers for third year and this is the trend now like after coming into third year we get some very good knowledge about the subjects and then we will be able to then we most of the students will decide what to do uh, whether to go for msc and if they are wanting to go for msc which subject to choose yes okay i got the answers from vishwaja purna sakshi kavya esika fine okay anyone else there are also few other yeah what about fourth year the last and the final year I can take it any everyone else right like everyone else who are not said yes for the other three years you might have you will you will be starting your journey from the fourth year only okay so majit tamanna akshita anjali sheshatri sahana okay fine it's good and uh, this is a quite interesting question how many of you actually started the preparation two or three months or later in a very short period of time anyone like who have decided to start do the msc and started your preparation very late sir uh, actually i uh, started uh, uh, 7 5 days before uh, plans and exams sir. during my rave program okay it was like last 6 months no sir last 3 uh, months okay last 3 months okay that's great so you started your preparation from last 3 months before to that last 3 months uh, you have any idea regarding the subjects the syllabus or you had yes, everything sir, uh, i enrolled the uh, agriadic master course uh, in october sir okay i'm not studying attending any classes mm -hmm. what Only you started uh, your actual self study from the previous four months ah yes sir three months yes. okay three months fine okay even like uh, this can be a good example where the students can understand that even if you have only three months of time to prepare for this exam you can do it and okay i'm not underestimating that you should not start from the first year or second year but i'm saying you the minimum possibility even if it is po it is possible to good get a good marks and cover the syllabus even if you have uh, three months of time okay next mithun uh so actually i bought the course very late in the month of march it seems okay uh because it was late decision for me when i completed my rave and come to my home my father asked me what will you do next then i had no words to say for him that's why uh, in order to push my responsibility for two more years i took this semester this is my subject and i was searching in youtube for the content i loved your content very much and bought the course and actual preparation started from april april okay april may june yeah june 29 was a exam it was exactly a three months of your time that you have dedicated yourself to prepare for this exam sir yes very and, good uh, yeah to say precisely sir i have not referred any of the books i just watched the direct lectures and the notes you have provided i okay. bought only one book that is uh, general agriculture by neeraj singha except that i have nothing <laughs> okay fine that's that's great great to hear that you have not referred any textbook but i would personally do not recommend this to anyone or any of the juniors since like mithun has not having a sufficient time and uh, we have covered sufficiently everything in our notes he has done it and he has got a very good marks but to my juniors start early uh, start reading the books 
do not uh, nothing can replace the textbooks actually uh, to be honest and obviously like uh, our materials will definitely supplement to the preparation and uh, it's all, all about the confidence that you have you will be having that whether you can crack these exams based on the resources that you have or not thank you so much mithun thank you so much for the appreciating words and keep supporting thank you so much so you people have raised your hands for this question na like itender yes sir yeah so you want to talk about the preparation like you have started very late yeah yeah sir i started in the january of this year sir after completing my seventh semester okay after completing your second semester you started your preparation so how no, no, seventh semester you... yeah seventh semester sorry so how did you collect the information it is it is, is it like you knew every info bit of information regarding the subject that what is the syllabus and what are the books or is it like you started from the scratch from the january सर एक्चुअली मेरे बैच में है सर वो प्रिपेयर कर रहे थे पहले से और मैंने डिसाइड नहीं किया था लास्ट तक कि मेरे को पीछे करनी है कि नहीं फिर उनको देख के और लास्ट में फिर लेटली बहुत डिसीजन लिया फिर वो उन्होंने बुक सजेस्ट की थी और फिर वहीं से फिर पढ़ना शुरू किया जनवरी में सर थ्री टू थ्री टू फोर आवर्स डेली एवरेज और फिर लास्ट में सर सेवन टू एट आवर्स ओके फाइन ओके ओके दैट्स गुड एंड लाइक यू आर फ्रेंड्स हैज आल्सो प्लेड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन योर प्रिपरेशन that good yeah yeah sir actually yeah that that is very good to hear fine next anyone else somajit yes sir actually yeah. sir for me i took the agriculture master master course uh, very earlier but didn't attend all the classes like classes uh, due to the hectic schedule of semester exams etc so officially i started my preparation from rave from my rave program Last uh, four months, officially. Okay, in the last four months you started it. Yes, sir. Okay, so in the last four months, did you go through the classes or you just uh, refer the study materials? Ah, uh, simultaneously both uh, study material plus uh, live classes. My my recorded lectures. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's great. That good to see. Even like uh, this is a good example to know that. if you have a sufficient information in certain platform then you can even start your preparation four months three months based on your ability to understand the things whether it is you can understand things very early or it takes time for you people to read yeah that differs from student to student yeah akshita uh, you want to add something once you are done you can lower your hands so that whenever sir, i, I started my preparation from april this year Okay, uh, I have actually started. joined Agri Master Course uh, in November twenty twenty three, but yes. uh, like uh, in the I was in my ho hostel, so so I could not study that much with that efficiency. But uh, I did go through B D Singh during my uh, normal college time. Di college time, so I knew how to read. So sir, and uh, those notes you provided were more helpful to me to prepare well. Yeah, that's good. It's from the April actually. Oh, that's nice. Yes, and 15th so, april to be precise yeah okay and one more thing i want to add like see whenever you people are encouraging and motivating your juniors who are actually in fourth year if they are very late you can en encourage them by by saying preparation only before two months three months and also make sure to add one more thing that you have you had some residual knowledge previously to the students who have actually very started very early the students who have started very early they should not be demotivated by hearing you that you started only so only prepared for 3 months they should they will start feeling that why i should uh, invest one year of my time to prepare for this exam so the difference is like the people who have started late there is a difference that they will have some residual knowledge it's not from they will be starting from the scratch so this is a thing every student who is preparing for the exam should understand if you can evaluate self evaluate yourself that whether you know the subjects from the scratch or not everything like if you are a science student you will be having already some residual knowledge regarding the subjects and the topic then only you have to carry forward that and boost your preparation at from certain point of time that is the thing yeah and i would re request you all while just uh, suggesting or guiding your juniors make sure that you uh, talk about everything every aspect of your of your preparation so that idea about this vivek uh, you want to add something yes sir yeah yeah please sir uh, i got to know about plant sciences in my first year second semester but due to covid i was not uh, able to start uh, the preparation because i was i was more engaged in the uh, semester examinations but uh, i have few uh, seniors which helped me a lot 
and uh, my gen uh, my genetics and microbiology portions were more or uh, more or less clear but okay. uh, in uh, second year onwards my friend uh, aditya who, who joined your platform in october last year who helped mm -hmm. me a lot and he was more deserving than me because his concept was more clear than me but uh, he got ill in the final days of examinations and he did good uh, around 320 marks but he was ill and he helped me okay. a lot so i think the contribution of friends and your environment is very crucial in the preparation of examination okay thank you thank you so much for appreciation and yeah i just want i just got something like in my mind and even like i was ill when i was giving this exam of uh, bhu when we were in 2020 there was no cut pg exams for the admit for admitting to bhu so there was a specific exam of bhu it conducts its own exam and i was actually ill on the on the day of the exam and i couldn't do well and i hardly scored 78 marks in this in that exam that was one or one and a half month before the actual pg exam which i was preparing from one and a half year i was literally too much demotivated by seeing the marks but still i managed somehow to keep my attention on the exam and luckily like i did not feel sick on the exam day of icr pg Hard work always matters, no matter like if he has not scored well in this exam, definitely in the upcoming exams, there are a lot of checkpoints that you will be having in your life. So you, you or she can definitely do better in those. Ardra, you want to say something? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, last year at this very point of time, I had watched similar video. Mm -hmm. It was just like this, an interaction with senior. Okay, and at that yes. point, one senior said uh, that he had started his, his preparation very early on and he had covered almost everything before third year itself. And people who are starting from final year, uh, he was like, I don't have a, I don't think you can complete the entire syllabus. And And at that point, I almost gave up. <laughs> I was like, Ab hoga nahi. Waise bhi, jab syllabus complete nahi hoga, then how am I going to attempt this? And it was during final year, so our university, Rave and ELP, we, we, we were very involved in it. We did not get much time. Likewise, uh, and in the end, I started getting confused. Should I even go for plant sciences or should I jump to social sciences because I like economics as well? Okay. And it was it was so difficult. I mean, people don't understand the kind of impact it has on others when you say something like that. So yeah. at this point, it's it's enough. I started properly preparing after CUET PG because likewise, I got sick during the examination time. I fell ill. I almost fell unconscious from the exa examination hall. And... It was like my backup plan has also gone and I only had this one source. And I started proper preparation after that. And I would just to, I just want to put it out there. And we have enough time at whatever point we start studying properly. I'm not saying I just started studying in final year. I was interested in the subjects way before. I started reading textbooks from first year itself. From first year itself, I knew that this is what I wanted. But there are so so many external factors that you know just affects our mentality our approach towards yeah, yeah this. i can understand that yeah yeah see this this is the kind of experience people do not i do not like know like you know it or not see this i have been in the subject from the past four years i have listened to the thousands of students personally i have interacted with them i have got to know the mindset the kind of thinking they have and know the things like what impact the student will have when someone says something in a social platform so that is the reason i was actually conducting these kind of sessions investing most of my time just to conduct these sessions you might be knowing right like this to conduct this session i have messaged each one of you individually got a reminder called you for the confirmation and so that you people do not miss the session and asked you whether you people are free or not some people were not able to attend because of the internet connection some were traveling and some were some other issues see this is all because of the fact that if i know the problem then i come i should come up with a solution the problem i know it already because the impact the student will have when some when he or she sees something on the social media so that can actually take or, or ruin or, or 
his life right in terms of the career or in terms of the education or academics so because of this reason like i wanted to set up an example where we have a video we have certain content in which we have a diverse mindset from the every part of the country where they have their own story everything is not same for everyone the conditions are not similar the college the universities the facilities they are not similar they have their own story i just want each and everyone's story to be live so that the people get motivated by connecting their story with their seniors because you people are interacting now at least one or the other stories will be connected with the juniors they will have a similar kind of situation and knowing seeing your results they will be definitely motivated and this is my ultimate motive behind doing all of these things yeah that's good to hear like if people are interacting well yeah let's move forward and about how many hours of preparation like is there anyone that who has tried to prepare 15 hours per day you can raise your hands on an average it might be a uh, last month of the exam last 15 days of the exam the number of days doesn't matter but you have reached this on an average more than a week or something like that sir yes ronik uh, sir, um, the Bindu is actually uh, ironic. Yeah. Uh, sir, during the preparation of CUET, like from January to March, I studied. I studied almost uh, fifteen hours a day. After that, giving the exam, I was so confident that I will clear. And uh, when the result came out, I was like, uh, "Okay, I will get DHU." After that, I stopped preparing, like only four to five hours. So during that time, I studied. 14 to 15 hours daily but after yeah. that i mm, decreased that time so much like four hours three hours even one someday i haven't studied also like i stopped uh, reading the books only playing games and doing all those things so i think that i did yeah okay so this is about the see uh, whether you can push 15 hours a day or not that depends on your interest as ronik said he was actually securing very good marks in cuet after that like uh, inherently he might have lost his interest or the reason the motive behind why should why should i do it if there is nothing to lose then we'll give everything that is the case so this is for everyone and why i mentioned the 15 hours is even like uh I'm, like it was a completely covid period where we are locked in our home starting from march and in the september the exam was conducted and i was also able to push my preparation for at least 15 hours a day since i was in completely in a home i was nowhere to go to mess and nowhere to go for drinking tea and wasting the time so i got most of my productive time doing my home and i was able to push it for 15 hours a day at least for two to three months of my preparation at the last that has actually made some difference because for my journey like i started from zero i started from the scratch from the third year second sem where i literally knew nothing even i was not aware of what is gene and what is chromosomes whether the gene is in the chromosome or the chromosome is in the gene this is the stage where i started my preparation in the uh, third year onwards and that is why it took a lot of time and the time duration actually differs from student to student as you people have said it okay uh, 10 to 12 hours a day how many okay. sir i want to say something yes uh, can i use Hindi? Yeah, yeah, not, no, oh. not a problem. Sir, uh, third year, my preparation was very good, but we uh, have a tour designed for six semester. We have an all India educational tour. So, in mm -hmm. December, we have a tour announced. Then, after the tour, Rave and ELP time, we have a lot of time to prepare for the time. We have a lot of time to prepare for the time. We have a lot of time to prepare for the time. And in ELP time, we have a lot of time to prepare for the learning program. उसके कारण हम लोग को समय नहीं मिल पाता था तो जैसे ही खत्म हुआ तो बिल्कुल स्टडी अराउंड अप्रैल मई एंड मई मंथ बिल्कुल स्टडी नहीं हो पाई तो लास्ट जून मंथ अराउंड फर्स्ट ऑफ जून मुझे बहुत ज्यादा रिवाइज करना था क्योंकि तीन साल की मेहनत थी और उसको वेस्ट नहीं कर सकते थे तो कभी-कभी ऐसा हुआ है कि हफ्तों तक हम सिर्फ जैसे कि मैंने बताया मैं और मेरा फ्रेंड साथ में प्रिपरेशन करते थे तो कभी-कभी ऐसा होता था हफ्तों तक हम लोग सिर्फ दो घंटे की नींद लेते थे और उस टाइम हम लोग प्रिपरेशन ऐसे कर रहे थे अच्छा ओनली टू आवर्स पर डे यस सर अच्छा ओह माय गॉड इट अफेक्टेड इट अफेक्टेड आवर हेल्थ वेरी मच ओके इन टर्म्स ऑफ हेल्थ यस सर ओके इवन लाइक आई now i am doing the same yeah 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 
प्लीज कंटिन्यू बट सर तीन साल की मेहनत थी उसको वेस्ट नहीं कर सकते थे और मुझे कॉन्फिडेंस था बिकॉज सीयूटी एग्जाम बहुत बढ़िया गया था उसमें टू फोर्टी सेवन मार्क्स थे और बी में ऑलरेडी एडमिशन मिल चुका था बट तीन साल की मेहनत थी उसको वेस्ट नहीं कर सकते थे इट्स ऑल अबाउट द जील एंड द पोटेंशियल यू हैव दैट विल मेक यू टू पुश हार्डर एंड हार्डर सो दैट्स ग्रेट लाइक यू गॉट सम गुड रिजल्ट फॉर वट एवर एफर्ट्स यू हैव मेड and i hope like you everyone else has understood like what he has said he was conveying that till third year he has prepared very well but in the fourth year because of rave and elp was not getting sufficient time and uh, till april may he was not able to prepare for a complete more two months also and then he started his preparation from june first and where he managed to revise the things by uh, making a sleep schedule of 2 to 3 hours he said like 2 hours only 2 hours per day he was he and his friends used to sleep and this is how they managed to prepare everything and revise the things in the last day and this thing it is happening for me now at least i was able to sleep uh, at least 8 to 10 hours a day in during my preparation and uh, during my msc but now like it's uh, merely 4 four, four and a half hours per day and it's from the last previous month this is happening for me now but i am literally very much happy that whatever efforts me and my team is putting on the students it is actually giving and reflecting in terms of the results you people are giving us and also in terms of the messages the appreciation and the encouragement that we have received from the students like similarly like the previous year we got lot of messages the personal encouragement by calling us and uh, saying that how like agree it has made a difference in their preparation this is something that keep, keeps me pushing to sleep less and work more and obviously i also i actually also tell everyone please take care of your health because this is just a beginning you have to balance everything and i am also trying to do that i will be i am just trying to push it for four and a half to six six to at least eight hours per day has sleep but since now it is a peak time uh, it is not possible for me but at least you people we, you have finished this stage now you have reached the checkpoint make sure that you also balance and take care of your health along with your education yeah so this was about uh, 10 to 12 hours tamanna spurti sakshi trilok preeti they have raised their hands and how many for our Five to eight hours, like Varshita also fine. How many? Just for five to eight hours. Okay, so many like five to eight is maximum, I guess. This is the amount of time a student is getting when he is fully involved in his academics during his UG. Okay, this is the average timing. And how many below four hours? Who was able to prepare only below four hours per day? Samajit, okay. Sugaresh, Danush, Mithun, Riya. Okay, Ria is here. I guess Ria, can you please introduce yourself? We missed your introduction. Hello, everyone. My name is Ria Chella, and I scored three hundred fifteen marks this year in the Plant Sciences exam. Uh, I'm from Haryana, basically. I completed my graduation from uh, Jawaharlal Nehru Krishi Vishwavidyalaya, Jabalpur. Okay, thank you so much, and congratulations again. So, just to continue, uh, what was the sequence? Like, so this is the most common common question and very curious one to know. Like how you people have started the sequence of the plants and subjects you have covered. I'll be just asking. I'll giving. I'll be giving you the options. You can just raise your hands. For now, like just please uh, lower your hands now so that I can understand like for which you are raising your hands. Uh, before that, I also seen that uh, how many of you are prepared for less than five, uh, four to five hours a day. Like how many less than four to five hours a day? I'm just repeating this question. Mithun, okay. Sugaresh, fine. so i guess like a few more students have also raised their hands but the on an average many students or most of the students have prepared 5 to 8 hours a day this was where their preparation duration yeah fine so next thing it was regarding the sequence the most common sequence is starting from genetics starting from genetics covering plant breeding next going to pathology then covering the minor subjects of uh, microbiology and uh, seed science during all this sequence during completing this sequence most of the students will be at least engaging themselves to study the general agriculture every day so how many of you have followed this sequence akshit um, okay akshita mera fine and uh, tamanna vivek spurti ardra varshita preeti vishwaja hello Anjali. sir yes sir Saakshi, can you repeat Sita. the sequence again yeah sequence is like uh, uh, genetics plant breeding next going for pathology and then covering the minor subjects and all other that are there in the syllabus plus going for general agriculture on a every day basis not if every day on an average you are touching it in every alternate day or something like that so this sequence is actually 
मैक्सिमम स्टूडेंट्स हैव बीन फॉलोइंग दिस सीक्वेंस ओके विवेक व्हाट अबाउट यू इट इज डिफरेंट या सो दिस वाज द वन ऑप्शन सर इट वाज नॉट मच डिफरेंट इन आवर इन आवर सेमेस्टर डिजाइन uh in second semester onwards we got to uh, study about genetics and microbiology but mm-hmm. uh, microbiology i was n- not able to read properly due to covid our classes was off uh, but genetics uh, i have cleared concept and in third semester plant breeding was introduced and uh, i got very interested in plant breeding and uh, i have completed my bds in uh, third uh, semester only and in pre- uh, previous semester that is second semester uh, my agro notes uh, for uh, second semester was clear that is uh, classifications of bacteria fungi and viruses and uh, general concept of uh, plant uh, plant pathology was also cleared fourth semester i i have cleared my seed technology and fifth semester and sixth semester plant breeding was again introduced in terms of um, crop improvement subject mm-hmm. so my uh, study was continuous due to my semester design okay okay fine what about is there any student who has started from the minor and then go and went for the major subjects thinking that and then cover the difficult subjects anyone like that okay varshita shridhar mithun okay you people started from the minor the easiest one and then started covering this uh, major subjects okay fine uh, sheshatri okay keep it engaging like i might i might have missing some students who are not actually speaking out but st- keep it engaging okay just give your views each and every views of like views of each and everyone is important in this meeting it's not like only the person who has secured top marks will uh, will be able to answer you should be able to answer and be confident to answer how you are prepared okay as i told you like there is no one topper the students who have secured uh, marks more than 300 according to me you are all toppers uh, next the uh, very controversial question i guess is coaching necessary start uh, let me start with tushar i just wanted to know since he is just topping this exam for now from the list of the students that we have like students who have joined so what's your views on it and others it uh, let us keep it as voluntary if you want to add something please come forward and add it whether it might be a positive thing or a negative thing it really doesn't matter you just be honest and put your views on this like what did you what do you feel regarding this thing yes tushar uh, even like if, even if you are comfortable in hindi that is not a problem please come forward and speak up yes, sir my voice is audible yeah your voice is audible okay uh, coaching is necessary this question is bit more controversial it depend on the ability of a student okay he can manage his time his techniques of study and i think if he want to able a read and book in a short interval of time cover many books like in plant science we know that we have to study many books because there are more subjects like genetic breeding and many more minor subjects so it depends on a student's ability and a time that he mm-hmm. has in his journey okay so uh, just tell me according to you like what do you think for you like was it necessary or uh, you were able to do it without it without the coaching getting coaching from any platform jaise ki sir matlab mere hisab se to sir le lena chahiye course ko kyunki itna costly bhi nahi hai aur थोड़ा बहुत ही कॉस्टली जगह मतलब टू थ्री थाउजेंड का है तो बिल्कुल सही है वो अगर आप लेके भी रखते हो अगर आपको लगता है कि हाँ हम बिना कोचिंग के भी कवर कर सकते हैं हर चीजें तब भी आपको ले लेना चाहिए एक बार क्योंकि कुछ कुछ सब्जेक्ट ऐसे होते हैं जो हमें शायद उनमें कोचिंग की जरूरत पड़े बिल्कुल जैसे कि मोलिकुलर जेनेटिक्स होते हैं इनको हम पढ़ने जाएंगे एक बार खुद से तो हमको थोड़ा सा लगता है कि हाँ ये थोड़ा बहुत ताकि आगे जहाँ जीन रेगुलेशन होता है ओपेरन कंसेप्ट होता है तो वहाँ की लैंग्वेज थोड़ी सी हार्ड लगती है तो वहाँ हम थोड़ा अटक सकते हैं तो उस केस में क्या हमें वीडियो लेक्चर्स थोड़े रहते हैं कि हेल्प करते हैं और मोक टेस्ट सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट बात है वो हम हमारे बिना कोचिंग के कर नहीं सकते हैं क्योंकि हमें लिमिटेड सोर्सेस है हम ऑब्जेक्टिव लगा सकते हैं 
बीडी सिंह बीके प्रसाद से बट वो लिमिटेड क्वेश्चन होते हैं फिफ्टी सिक्स हम बिना मोक टेस्ट के ये जान नहीं पाएंगे कि हम ऑल इंडिया कहाँ स्टैंड करते हैं तो उस सब चीज़ों के लिए जो कोचिंग्स होती है वो बिल्कुल इम्पोर्टेंट होती है और चीज़ें भी हमें पता पड़ती है कि हाँ हम क्लास में हैं तो क्लास में लाइव क्लासेस लेना चाहिए मोस्टली रिकॉर्डेड नहीं देखना चाहिए क्योंकि लाइव क्लासेस में पता पड़ता है कि लोग किस प्रकार का रेस्पॉन्ड करते हैं ग्रुप्स में भी मतलब आपसे बेहतर कर रहे हैं या आप उनसे बेहतर कर रहे हैं competition level just by having going for the live classes you mentioned about 2 3000 like we are conducting online courses for 5000 for this year is it do you think like it is too high no no is so good if you are jaise ki agar aap scholarship aapko mil rahi hai coaching ho se ya fir so forget about aapko uh, so forget about scholarship and any other thing like is the 5000 that we have kept for our course is it justifiable justifiable because you are a student of our master course you know the things better like what do you think since like you have used the price na like that's why i'm asking this question nahi sir theek hai 5000 bhi koi zyada nahi hai agar hum 10 mahine ke liye bhi course lete hain to hume per month ye 500 ka padta hai itna koi hamare liye costly nahi hota usme hum cheeze bhi bahut sari gain karte hain to i think costly to nahi hai अगर किसी को लगता है की हाँ मतलब मुझे थोड़ा हेवी लग रहा है कोर्स तो वो इन सब चांसेस से अपनी फीस को रिड्यूस कर सकता है या फिर अगर वो आपसे भी बात करेगा तो भी आप आई थिंक हेल्प करोगे उसकी so this is what like money is never a constant it's all about the interest if someone is actually interested uh, he will he or she will definitely find one or the other way to get into the get into get access to the content that are available yeah okay thank you others like uh, you people want to add anything to yes, this sir. question yeah please sir according to me coaching is uh, necessary sir because uh, when when i read the bd sing for the first time like i was not able to understand then i have uh, read it again then also i did not understand when i listened to your classes uh, the topics were crystal clear sir so okay uh, so according to me coaching is necessary moreover sir few students uh, they'll not go with the flow like uh, mm-hmm. they'll not uh, they'll um... in the even in this fine yeah so they'll not uh, read and they'll delay so uh, when we t- purchase uh, something a uh, one platform na uh, we can go with the flow like uh, genetics and then pathology breeding likewise moreover sir uh, after every topic uh, you used to conduct test so when we attend the test we will uh, will come to know to what extent we have understood the topic so according to me coaching is very much necessary Okay, thank you so much, and also thank you so much for the appreciation. Yeah, this is something that which always boosts me. Others, any anyone else? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sakshi, yeah. You one by one, Sakshi, you can start. Sir, uh, as I was a BSc Horticulture student, so I had no clue about the plant sciences. I made my mind in my third year, but I started my preparation from fourth year onward, from September. Okay. But after that. i had no clue like from where to start how to study so for that proper guidance you need a platform like i don't have that much time to prepare on my own to study a whole book on my own and i had no clue i had no seniors to guide me or to teach me so at that time you need precise uh, sequence of notes study material lectures so that you can boost your preparation in short period of time and that too if you are starting from scratch yeah. so i guess sir I guess sir, coaching is necessary. Okay, thank you, thank you so much for your views. Anyone else want to add? Hello sir. Yes. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Sir, uh, coaching is uh, it makes the uh, things is very easy because uh, if you read a book, uh, you will not able to understand what are the important topics for that particular exam that you are going to you want to going to crack. and if yeah. you are joining here for thing uh, they already know what this exam or what kind of exam it is uh, for a particular uh, subject what are the important topics or what topics you should focus more what to, uh, topics you should avoid like uh, for example if you taking the genetics uh, bdc 
there are uh, many topics we have to give more importance and may, many topics we have to avoid and also the second thing i think is that uh, uh, or the uh, the mini notes or the concise uh, notes it's very important if you are a uh, it's uh, readily available we do not have to make any effort or uh, waste your time on making that uh, uh, notes or like that and also uh, i think sir uh, and also the uh, weightage of uh, to the subject we have to give and uh, also mainly helps the minor subject like uh, c tech uh, because in c tech you know you cannot uh, concentrate on a, a single book so the the flow chart uh, provided from this portion is very helpful we just want to uh, revise that in three four pages uh, time to time it's more than enough for that exam so like that uh, that kind of effort if you are uh, self preparing we have to put that effort for preparing the chart we have to refer that book uh, but uh, if you are joining for a coaching you don't have to do, uh, uh, want to invest that amount of time for that these things we already getting all this things yeah. for me, me personally the thing is that uh, uh, when i uh, uh, after my reading all this medicine uh, i just uh, use the aggregated notes for just revising the things for the last round uh, revision so it, it's very easy uh, for my for my revision so i think if you are taking a coaching it's the thing will be easier to know about anyone wants to add something if anyone wants yes, to add sir. yeah yes sir please keep uh, it sir, okay <laughs> okay sir okay sir i want to add ki hamesha ability jaise ki student ki ability ke alawa bhi jo hai na uske factor pe depend karta hai jaise ki main jis college se wahan par teaching staff kafi limited the to mujhe zyada resources nahi mil pate the जैसे कि सेम टीचर सीड्स हैं जेनेटिक्स और प्लांट ब्रीडिंग तीनों पढ़ाना पड़ता था उनको बिकॉज ऑफ लैक ऑफ टीचिंग स्टाफ तो कोचिंग मेरे लिए बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत थी बिकॉज क्रैकिंग जे आर एफ इज ए बिग न्यूज फॉर माय कॉलेज बिकॉज आफ्टर मैन कुमार सिन्हा सर नो वन इज एबल टू गेट पी जी स्कॉलरशिप तो आई विल बी सेकेंड आफ्टर हिम सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड कोचिंग इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर सम स्टूडेंट हु आर इन दैट एरिया हु डू नॉट गेट प्रॉपर रिसोर्स मुझे बात करने का मौका मिला तो मुझे पता चला थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड में प्रिपरेशन हो सकती है राउंड या फिर कितना भी हो बट अगर प्रिपरेशन अच्छे से हो पा रही है देन इट वर्थ द मनी Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. I think I one need one more person like Raunik. I need someone from private college that makes a lot of difference now. People because getting from the private college to top, uh, becoming a top ranker in this ICR PG exams, it's a new thing or it's a new trend now. Because previously the private college students were not able to access this exam, and even though they are able to access it now, there is a lot of difference in the way they prepare and the environment they have. Raunik. you want to add something and want to listen to you sir jaise uh, sab sab ne to sir mention kiya ki books padhne mein dikkat hota hai sab cheezon mein dikkat hota hai lekin sir mere ko ye lagta hai ki sir padhne ke sath na kabhi kabhi koi koi banda breakdown ho jata hai ki nahi mera acha score nahi aa raha hai mock test pe nahi mere ko padhne ka to isliye sir main kahunga ki ye coaching bahut zaruri hai sir okay so how lexi i just want you want you to tell me like how the private universities is different from the government like what clear difference do you see in terms of the aspirants who are wanting to go for ir educations what difference it will make uh, sir jaise uh, vivek ne bhi bola na sir wo uske college se sir uh, koi uh, matlab wo mayank sir ke baad koi nahi aaya tha to sir mere college mein bhi 2020 saal mein wo ek ladka tha wo aayi aaya tha wo ar 38 लाया था रेंट तो उसके बाद सर हमारे कॉलेज पे ये प्लांट साइंस का इतना वो नहीं था लेकिन सर हमारे बैच पे बहुत सारे बंदे ने सीरियसली लिया और सबका स्पोर्ट भी सर अच्छा रहा और वहाँ पे टीचर्स ने भी सर हेल्प किए जेनुअली और सर जैसे सर मेरा अच्छा रैंक बन रहा है तो बाकी लोगों को भी वहाँ पे शायद ही कुछ अलग डायरेक्शन दिखे इस बात से मतलब जो लोग को लग रहा था कि नहीं हम प्राइवेट से है तो उनको आप समझ में आएगा की प्राइवेट से भी बंदे गवर्नमेंट को टक्कर दे सकते हैं Oh, that's great. It's all about their ability. The competition lies in always the ability of a student whether he can compete with others and crack the exam or not. It doesn't matter whether it is is from private or government. 
there are so many complications yeah. in this i understand but for now as a student yeah. mindset if someone is working hard no matter whether he has a facilities or not then like there are very good chances that he will be coming up with the flying colors and you i guess like the people the students like you know, everyone from the government and private doesn't matter like you people will be setting a example for your juniors that whatever the hard work you have done that, that that will definitely give the fruitful results and you will be the example for your juniors too they will just follow your footprints and they will motivate themselves seeing your stories on the on these platforms like which we will be posting and they will be motivated and this is what i personally need and this is was my motive why i started this yeah anyone wants anyone else want to add some anything sir yeah ashika Well, for me, uh, coaching is necessary because um, I read a Bhagat Singh book completely, but I didn't get any confidence whether it is uh, important or not. So, if if I purchase any coaching institute, I get confident. Okay, it is important. Okay. Uh, for me, that's it. And also, it is necessary, right? Uh, that the coaching platform is able to provide the quality content. Sir, I want to share one thing. Yes. Sir, at some point, the my scores were very low. They were very low. So my friends started to say to me that they should leave the courses. So I mean, it was such a breakdown. So I mean, then, like, slowly, slowly, I started to start to watch videos. After that, I joined a mock test. So I mean, last December, around. So then I started giving mock tests. So I mean, it was a little confidence. So I mean, after that, I mean, my performance and confidence level was very high. So I mean, it was a little confidence. So I mean, after that, I mean, my performance and confidence level was very high. So I mean, it was a little confidence. So I mean, after that, I mean, my performance and confidence level was very high. So I mean, it was a little confidence. So I mean, after that, I mean, my performance and confidence level was very high. Okay, thank you so much. It's good to hear that you have will got a lot of benefit from the platform, and it's yes. obviously like see, no matter like whether it is Agreedit or any other platforms, no matter we provide the quality content or not. So obviously, like you people are getting very good results. That does that means that you are getting quality content. But ultimately, it depends on the mindset and the confidence and the hard work, uh, the smart work the student is putting that will give us his good results, right? So coaching, it depends on them. Like see. it will not negatively impact anyone is there anyone who will say that the coaching has impacted in a negative way during their preparation is there anyone no one right so what i want to add is it won't definitely add anything or impact negatively but it will definitely supplement your preparation see for some like what i have heard from you people is you people completely relied on this aggregated platform for your preparation where you have not even gone for your standard books some of you just uh, watched my videos and referred the materials that we have given and you were able to secure the very good rank that means you have completely relied on it but there are few students like many other students who have already been in touch with the subjects but they need needed the fine tuning and because of that reason we they chose this aggregated platform and they got what they were expecting so this is story the story is different from dif different for all all of you people but the one thing is common the platform the agreed pl platform has always supplemented the preparation no matter in what scale right so that is what i want to conclude so uh, everyone agrees with this yes sir yes sir yeah, you can just raise yes, your hands yeah thank you so that is what i feel so we always try to provide the quality content in terms of every subjects we did not neglect even the minor even not even the general agriculture aspects which were there so we just try to cover each and everything and year by year i honestly believe that there is always a scope for improvement if you just look previously in the look back and ask your seniors uh, and just compare the materials that you have got for your batch and your seniors batch there is always a improvement in the previous batch we were not able to provide few content in few areas which we recognized and pushed it for this year and whatever lacunas we have in this year we definitely will go for forward and go it to give it to your juniors and this culture will be always followed and this is how a certain platform should work so that the students will get the maximum benefit okay next the question the straight question is how exactly the agreedit has helped you in your preparation in what point in which point so for few like mithun has said it has completely helped him in your in their preparation is completely relied on the materials that were provided and watch the classes but if you have any specific area that actually made some difference you can point it out sir jaise ki vidhi singh ka jo plant breeding wala book hai usme sir bahut sara cheeze hai utna padhna mushkil hota hai pehle baar mein और सर मेरे पास टाइम भी बहुत कम बचा था तो लास्ट के जब तीन चार महीने में मास्टर कोर्स वाला मतलब मेरे को मैंने प्रॉपरली एक्सेस करना चालू किया था मैंने उनके अंदर जो शॉर्ट नोट्स थे जिसके अंदर सर तीन चार पेजेस में हर एक चैप्टर को समराइज करके दिया हुआ था 
तो वो सर एक बहुत अपर एज दे देते एक स्टूडेंट को जो बहुत जल्दी में सब चीजों को कवर कर सकते हैं और वो अपने अपने को मतलब अपने को इवेल्युएट कर सकते हैं मॉक टेस्ट देके कि हाँ मेरे को कहाँ पे बेनिफिट हो रहा है उसके साथ सर सर सीट टेक वाले में भी आपने जो नोट प्रोवाइड किया था सर उससे बाहर तो मैंने कहीं पे भी क्वेश्चन नहीं देखा था तो मेरे लिए सर इस पॉइंट पे मेरे को बहुत ज्यादा बेनिफिट हुआ ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थिंग I don't get anything into my head because it was uh, so lengthy and it was so like the English was not comfortable for me. That's why I uh, firstly started studying uh, speech science by your videos itself, and uh, I get attracted to that, and I then bought your course. And uh, for my luck or what, I don't know. Uh, genetic part was covered. Uh, genetic part was covered by you yourself only. It motivated me to uh, work more towards the subject and to gain more uh, knowledge in that. जो मोक टेस्ट वो ज्वाइन किया था सर उसके क्वेश्चन जो है वो बहुत अच्छे और रिलेवेंट क्वेश्चन है जैसे एग्जाम में आते हैं वैसे ही क्वेश्चन थे और और उसे उस देने के बाद में सर अपन कहाँ स्टैंड करते हैं वो पता पड़ता है सर वो कहाँ मिस्टेक हो रही है और उससे इम्प्रूवमेंट होता है वो बहुत अच्छा था क्वेश्चन बहुत अच्छे थे और जो सॉल्यूशन वगैरह है वो भी बहुत अच्छे थे यूट्यूब पे भी मैंने कुछ टॉपिक पे आपके वीडियो देखे थे सर वो भी बहुत अच्छा थे ओके थैंक यू सो मच सर दिस इज वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू एल इट एंड दिस इज अ मेजर इशू दैट शुड बी एड्रेस्ड सी इफ यू जस्ट सी एनी अदर प्लेटफॉर्म अदर देन अग्रेडिट फॉर अग्रेडिट आई हैव ऑलवेज लाइक गिवन मोस्ट ऑफ माई टाइम where i have given to prepare the mock test to the qualified students who are actually interested in preparing the questions and subject qualified are everyone but the i just try to find out a person who is actually interested in the subject and then i gave the questions to prepare and also strictly advise them to keep the questions that should be relevant for the subjects and i also you also know many of you already know that i put a poll in the once the exam was over on the same day or the next day i asked you like how many questions were there from the mock test around i still believe like there are 30 to 40 questions which were exactly almost same to whatever we have asked in the mock test because this i know because i also gave this exam i wrote this exam i know this fact because I, when the questions were reported for some reasons i was checking the questions and i was recalling everything when i was in the exam all okay i have read this question in our platform i read this question in our platform this was the case and i know like this is how this have this has actually impacted lot of students because having a relevant question which is actually um, like given in the exam is too much important if you are getting a questions in the mock test which are completely irrelevant or completely above the level of your exams that doesn't make any sense and also it will negatively impact on the preparation of a student that i have also seen where the students used to send me the doubts from the other platforms asking that what is the meaning of this question sir please tell me uh, the question i am not able to understand and they will be literally low confident that okay i have read everything but still i am not able to solve the questions and i have managed to solve each and every query that the students have put me and guided them uh, to erase those erase out the questions which are not of standard quality and told them that not to worry about those things yeah so grace you want to add something sir, sir i want to add I... one thing yes sir yes yes yes, yes sir, everyone can i have started sir i have started my preparation from third year second semester first i uh, completed plant pathology sir later i started genetics Uh, during genetics, uh, during I uh, preparing genetics, sir, uh, multiple alleles and molecular uh, biology I couldn't able to understood. Then my friend suggested me agriadic, sir. Then I joined agriadic. It really helpful me. And uh, later what uh, WhatsApp group, sir. It uh, really helped a lot, sir. Uh, doubt clarification. Uh, we used to uh, forward it to our friends, sir. Uh, those we uh, clarified among us, which are important yeah. and numericals, sir, especially. We used to make a group and uh, solve it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you so much. Numericals, the doubt clearing sessions, these things, and the classes, the materials have made a lot of difference. Okay, nice. Yeah, Spurti. Sir, can I? So one thing 
yeah i want to highlight is that it's about live classes so, uh, like uh, one day before you used to like say with, uh, the topic that will be conducted the, the next time uh, i used to study that and uh, during the live classes uh, it would be so interactive that it would it was like a revision session for me and uh, uh, every topic uh, like through that live classes it, uh, like i was very clear uh, about i was uh, like very confident about that con uh, like particular concept so one suggestion that i would give to my juniors is that please attend live classes uh, if it is possible because hearing to recorded classes is also okay but uh, uh, like hearing to live classes and attending is completely different yeah yeah even i completely agree with this and the spurti is one of the student who is to attend my every class and i would he, she used to get 100% attendance in in terms of live classes yeah i i'm happy that it has ma made a lot of difference yes next uh, tamanna vijay okay yeah yes sir uh, sir i remember one thing ki i had a doubt in seed science and i wrote there in the group and next day personally you clear me and ye cheez mujhe bahut achhi lagi ki aapne every apne pure efforts lagate ho jaise baaki coaching institute mein bhi test series dekhti deti thi but itna involve nahi thi hamare sath aur jaise jab maine paper dekha us din us din kafi questions aise the jo humne group mein discuss kiye the aggregate group mein to bahut similarity thi so the confidence bhi acha hai paper mein yeah very happy to hear all of these things see to be honest like let me be honest with you all it's not about a platform or business or something like that uh, where we do not disclose so many things let me disclose everything that i have and what i have lost in the journey and what i have gained you already know it what i have gained i have gained the respect and the love from the students from the past 3 years but let me just highlight like what i have lost it, during my msc i was actually interested in this my research but because that i was already completely into the platform i was i loved teaching i had to i want i had to sacrifice preparing for any other exams i literally have not given a single exam after uh, giving the ibps afo in back in 2020 i was i went till interview and luckily or unluckily i did not clear it so after that exam only exams that i have given is srf the net that's it no no other exams i have given it till now and i'm currently in phd second year you can understand this fact where someone is not trying to get a job and is completely involved in something which do not know whether it will sustain in the future or not so this is my case how my journey begin and if i want to talk about that daily routine i have a complete setup in my room that i have made for myself to ma make myself productive where the desktop will be on 24 hours um, many of you also also know this like you people have text texted me in around 1 pm 2 pm 4 pm 3 pm so you used to get the replies instantly so this is how it has been from the past 3 years and just jaise ki tamanna like she mentioned so this is how it was like i used to just see each and every messages that the students has put if it was necessary to answer i was i always prioritize those things and have answered each and everything and i have only missed those questions which are irrelevant which are need not to be answered and this is what i have lost and now i am phd second year to be honest i did not even start my research in the next year i should complete my degree but still the research is not at started i'm completely on it it was the case during the exam after the course is finished still there are a lot of things to do and we get so many requests from students sir please make a video on that please give us this, this information please uh, make a frank prediction please engage yourself in guiding us in the counseling so i am actually interested in all of these things but it's about a time right like where, what how much returns it is giving for you for whatever time you are investing though like it is not giving anything now i hope like we will be able to establish this platform and we will be able to guide and motivate the students in a bigger scale in the upcoming years this was this is my intention for now so why i am sharing my personal experiences because you people might have also lost so many things during your journey while getting one thing you might have also lost so many other things that were actually necessary in your life this is how uh, how it is in reality because if you want something you want to you want to just leave something like you have to be prepared that you will leave something else so this is how it is for everyone this you will be able to understand once you come into priority one uh, once you come into msc and ir studies where if you make something a priority then you have to leave other things aside and go for it and be happy with that that is most important yes uh, vijay yes sir 
yeah so actually uh, even though i started uh, my preparations too early and uh, i think i started reading textbooks for related to genetics uh, from second sem itself and i used to make notes i used to attend the class uh, i mean uh, the sem class as a regular classes i used to make the notes and i was very uh, i was having too much grip to or, or towards the subject uh, but even though i was having too much uh, grip towards the subject at the end of the time i was uh, shorted with the time uh, since i was engaged with uh, college events rave all in it or all those things i was left on, i was left with only 4 months uh, i i was i lost my hope since that uh, uh, though even though i was started my preparations from the second sem itself uh, i was nothing to do with for uh, four years uh, i mean four months uh, at the last uh, a grade actually even uh, even in third year i have purchased the course and even i have uh, uh, attended the classes i have made the notes everything everything was good but till four year every, till uh, fourth year everything was good but uh, unfortunately many things distracted my way uh, may, uh, and uh, i was left with four months and again i have uh, attended the classes uh, i took uh, I, i mean I, i regularly used to contact my seniors uh, regarding uh, what to read what not to read uh rupa mam has uh, helped me a lot in uh, i mean uh, in cutting down the things and uh, getting into the what actually is needed for the preparations uh, i think i have prepared only uh, hardly 6 hours a day uh, there was lot of uh, distractions uh, in my college uh, but successfully all my efforts throughout those uh, sims gave this result uh, i think pl- this platform has uh, narrowed my path uh, and i've got some experience Uh, my teacher always used to tell sir uh, we have to get the concepts in two or more angles when we read some books uh, i think uh, we will understand uh, one concept in one angle but understanding the same concept in another angle will also gain as uh, more grip to other subjects and that would help me in the exam uh, uh, when i was attending the questions rather though uh, i was uh, i didn't cover the subjects i, I mean uh, i didn't uh, cover the whole syllabus since i was having a grip towards the subject that helped me a lot to crack the questions uh, presence of mind and the uh, confidence towards the subject helped me to uh, crack this exam uh, and that all that uh, confidence gave uh, it came from this platform it narrow it has narrowed on the, my path uh, my preparation and it has helped me a lot uh, yeah. okay. thank, you. thank you thank you everybody. so much like it was a very lengthy appreciation um okay. I, my heart is full now to take all of this appreciation from you but like what see yes, thank you so much for that vijay vijayat so next like yes. i am seeing like few people are not uh, able to interact i will just ask them first like ashika please uh, uh, comment on your views something you want to say uh, make it short and crisp it's fine you not to explain in detail just comment on your views I, on your yeah i purchased genetic and plant breeding plant breeding course and uh, that helps me a lot to clarify my doubts and it is very easy to understand and um, very conceptual and very thank you thanks to you sir because uh, i don't i don't like gene genetics and plant breeding i attend okay. your class and get confidence and uh, i like genetics i love genetics now okay thank you thank you so much varshita hello sir yeah 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 i would uh, i'll agree with the others opinion sir but i would like to add some of the things uh, that i uh, got from the aggregate uh, the yeah. thing is there is a controversy that whether to read a bd singh or pundan singh for the plant breeding subject so i i personally prefer uh, pundan singh because it is short and crisp and which is very relevant to the exam but we feel uh, some of the things uh, from bd singh is also important so what i feel is uh, uh, the notes which was given by kavya ma'am was too much appropriate and it is not too less not too more and she covered almost everything uh, like the everything which is important uh, from the bd singh uh, that cut short the time that we um, uh, during our preparation and the second thing is um, for the molecular genetics we feel bd singh is too heavy and too difficult to understand and there are too many things in that uh, book and uh, genetic genetics made easy we feel it is too much short and um, it is not uh, like it is too less for our preparation so the notes which was given by you uh, were so had uh, during uh, like after live classes was so much relevant and appropriate so i blindly really uh, blindly went with those notes and 
I'll never ever regret for doing it so. Uh, so thanks to you and I create it whole team. Uh, and I especially mention Abhishek sir, <laughs> uh, like he's your friend, I guess, who uh, yeah. like I fortunately find this pro platform through him. Like um, like I'm from uh, UHS. Like I I have no seniors who has been studying in uh, some uh, premier institutes like IRI. I somehow got his contact and uh, uh, like I touch wood, I found this uh, academic platform. So I, I now I can say that I have never uh, scored this much marks by studying by my own. Uh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, these are the big words that you have made. This is a very big statement and very <laughs> crucial statement that you have made. It would be never same like if you have done your self-study. Yeah, that is the difference. We want to push it from our platform, agreed it. I believe, like, I'm very happy that we are able to do it. Anjali? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, I would suggest you to add one more question in this session highlights. Like, what was the role of you as a mentor in our preparation? Like, okay. everyone talked about the MOOC test, like classes, notes, and everything. Obviously, they were wonderful. But personally, what I liked the most was uh, the mentorship which you provided throughout these eight, nine months of the journey. Even uh, firstly, I would thank Somiji. He's there. Uh, yeah. He was the one who told me about this platform. Randomly, one yeah. day he messaged me about some queries and, and I got to know about the Agri Addict. And the, from the very first day when I uh, talked to you regarding, sir, should I go for the course, course or not? Uh, then only I felt that you are just wonderful as a mentor. Even I talked for one hour <laughs> someday uh, regarding my, my lack of confidence and all. So obviously, sir, like I know I haven't scored that much good. It's okay, okay. <laughs> but I will, uh, you know, give a whole credit to your mentorship, obviously. Because no one is willing to, you know, boost up your confidence and when you just feel low and no one is there to tell you like, okay, you will do it, you can do it and you are doing great. So thank you, thank you, sir. Literally, thank you so much for, uh, you know, providing me that confidence throughout the journey. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. Like I would literally cry based on like whatever like comments I'm getting here like, because there are, I hope like most of you already know the recently what happened and there is a lot of disturbance in the social media. Some other platform is putting and claiming so many things. So apart from all of these things, getting appreciation on a public platform among everyone, it's uh, great. And I literally feel so much happy that I personally and individually and as a platform could could have able to make a lot of difference in your preparation. I'm very happy for it and looking forward to be in touch with all of you. So who have been with me till the complete year. So in the IR studies, like we will be definitely in touch since we'll be going to launch the courses for the PSD, the ASRB net. You will be at least with me for next five to six years. Uh, and I'm also very happy for this fact that the students I know and I've interacted, they will be with me and they are the one again, be the students and the mentors to the juniors. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much, Anjali, for all your words. Thank you so much. Yeah. So much. Yeah. Uh, sir, I would like to add one more thing. Uh, one day, Anjali asked me that uh, if I would take the uh, aggregated master, master, best, master course, uh, mm. I recommended her you, you should take this and you, you should take this blindly for the preparation of plant sciences. So she is just staying, talking about the, this. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for referring our platform with a lot of confidence and with a such of confidence for others where you say someone that you can take it blindly. These are very big words and they have a lot of weightage and the confidence that you make while Putting these words will definitely motivate others to do, go for it because there is a lot of confusion in the students whether to go for, like when you have to spend every penny there comes the confusion there comes the complexity and there comes everything that we have to think of so spending like three to four thousand it might see the content we are providing it might be worth more than ten thousand that doesn't matter but for a ug student uh, spending two to three thousand is almost like 
very heavy because we are from the same background we know the mindset of the ug students and the financial conditions but still you people have managed to uh, come and help this platform and you have done it and you have got some help i'm very happy for that yes anyone else to add anything sahana okay hi sir, sir. can i can i add one thing yeah uh, yes sir sir actually i would like to add something uh, sir when actually when we uh, when we are reading something uh, sometimes we wrongly understand the concepts or sometimes we will not be updated with the concepts for the best example here yes, sir uh, uh, in in seed science uh, related to seed license uh, the period of validity uh, even during our ug we have read we have uh, we was thought that it was for 3 years three but years. <laughs> until you mentioned it was still 5 years we was not updated with those uh, information sir so this platform as uh, i mean uh, coaching is uh, coaching is necessary because there will be things of, uh, there will be many things to update with the concepts and also uh, sometimes we will wrongly understand the concepts when we are reading the book sir so getting in getting the uh, concept in another angle or uh, listening to other persons will uh, clears those or uh, will fill the those gaps sir. so i think uh, this was not mentioned previously so i i, I thought i, I thank you thank you so much for pointing it out and mentioning each and everything so you people are literally making a group efforts to note the things and mention the things which were not mentioned previously i'm literally very happy for that yeah sahana yes sir hi sir yeah um i got clarity in genetics plan reading and seed technology only after watching your classes sir and mm. just like mithun said i completely relied on your agriadic classes and the notes you have given thank you so much i must thank kavya ma'am and you thank you so much for the efforts and also other mentors who who's working behind it yeah. and i'll definitely suggest my juniors to join the agriadic class sir okay and, thank you and, thank you so much and also and also i must add that i got motivated by seeing your past videos where you have mentioned that you started it late and still you have got the very good marks so only after that i i'm also motivated by seeing those videos so thank you for okay. making it thank you for all the efforts you have given sir okay thank you thank you so much like i'm i'm literally happy that uh, my journey my story has inspired you people actually uh, i should have prepared something from the internet uh, how to thank you people repeatedly i'm using the thank you thank you thank you i'm very happy 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 i should have just done some homework regarding that and got some beautiful words in the english since i'm not too good at english so i would have done that like next time i'll definitely do it for your upcoming batch yeah trilok yes sir yeah so actually i thought of taking plant science from first year only but okay. i never started the preparation yes in, in the, all my ug days i used to it 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 was spent for all my time with records and with friends so like that i spent all my 3 years after my 6th semester we allotted elp units and at that time second day of my elp i searched in youtube how to prepare for jrf plant sciences so then i came across your agri edic videos then i saw reference books to read for agri ed for jrf plant sciences and saw the video and i was like these many books how should i cover and i was so tense at the time because it's only 6 months so then i actually personally messaged you so sir how to use this course what will be the details and all and you guided me that for 5 to 10 minutes actually so then i got confident about your agri edict and i joined the next day but still i never really used that till my rave means from march actually so from okay. march till march i saw only 10 classes 10 classes of genetics so i used to see the class and i used to read bd singh and i used to write your no- notes actually the ppt you presented so i, I thought uh, why should we xerox it uh, so let's write and i thought of writing it in my no- notes so which we can use for easy reference so like that in my whole elp i listened only for 10 classes and that's my preparation and now i got 3 months and i have to cover whole whole syllabus and i have to revise it so in this 3 months agriadict helped me really a lot so i 
really depended on it so i thought maybe after this after the result i should give some more amount to sir so that it helped me really really a lot yeah okay so, yeah that's the great things see i just wanted to clarify one thing see whenever you propose our platform to the juniors i just literally tell you in a logical sense we have 50 plus mentors who are actually working at least 4 to 5 hours a day in making the study materials mock tests live preparing for the live classes working in the background uh, regarding the website maintenance of the website application attending the queries uh, getting the mails inquiries mail inquiries and attending the calls and everything so if you are if you know this fact that all our mentors who are actually mostly phd they get 31000 per month and for a year it is almost 4 lakh and if i just multiply with the 50 mentors it is 1 crore 80 lakh rupees that all our mentors collectively make this is something the student will get even if he is not doing anything apart from his academics right so uh, i have seen so many comments uh, recently i know they are not uh, from a like um, authentic uh, account accounts but i still wanted to address this see if someone is saying that uh, like people paisa loot raha hai kisi ka bachon ka paisa loot raha hai aur zyada paisa leke kuch nahi karwa raha hai so that doesn't really make sense because even if 1000 students join this platform we hardly reach 50000 like 50 lakh uh, like even if i want to uh, cut cut down the expenses it would be hardly 35 to 40 which i have to distribute among the students who have contributed and also you can imagine if 1000 students are joining the platform how much extra workforce we need to manage all of those things if that is the case it will come to the net profit that we are getting from whatever time we are investing it would be just 15 to 20 lakhs that should be even distributed by the 50 plus mentors and i really wanted to address this one point or other you know at one point of time or other i feel like now it is a right time to do it just understand this fact like whoever is who will be watching this video of your juniors the 5000 that we are charging it is just to sustain the platform so if someone is giving some efforts he has to also look into the future like why is doing it right so he has to ask in own plans and also we have to maintain the, the digital instruments that you people are using they are too much costly if you just inquire about it you will be getting to know that and every now and then you know that there are lot of issues like sir login nahi ho raha hai sir app open nahi ho raha hai sir app stuck ho raha hai sir play, playback issue aa raha hai sir awaaz nahi aa raha hai study material download nahi ho raha hai so it is like if we have if we have to address all of these things we have to pay enough money to the services that we get to the companies who provide these services so what i would why i'm trying to tell you all of these things is when someone tells you for example if you just uh, suggest our course to your juniors seeing the price of 5000 you will definitely say why the price is too high because some other platform is doing even for very less i don't know what kind of quality content they are able to provide but they are doing it i know it but see they obvious students will compare and say why it is too high so then this is the thing that what you have to justify the price you need not to only check the price you have to also check the quality of the content uh, from the seniors from the youtube and from the re different resources and you have to actually justify the price that we are taking and i am really very much confident that we are able to provide a much quality content at a very minimal price and the price of this course should be anywhere between 10 to 15000 if it was a bigger scale if we would have a very good platform we would have i was fully professional that i was making it on a commercial scale this should be the case but i know the mindset of the students the financial condition of the students and everything because i have been through the same situation and even if we are able to charge only for four to five per student we can definitely sustain it for so many years i am confident about that because we are confident about the content we are able to provide and i would suggest you all just convey these things to your juniors because no one will be having the knowledge inbuilt or inherently someone has to at least show some light on their mindset and then the people will be able to know it so the students who do not know all of these things i hope believe like you are the you people are the right person to guide them in a right way yeah so like let, priti please uh, add some more points if you are, want to add anything like i will just address the students who have not at it interacted with me and other people so that they will be also yes, Yeah. My point is, I agree. It helped me a lot. Yeah. And I, I already advised it to our juniors three to four times, and they are also showing interest. So I think hope they will join your course soon. Yeah. Thank so, you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, sir, for guiding us. Yeah. So to be practical, only the number of students. If we have some fixed number of students every year. the platform would be sustainable and i can uh, like convince the other mentors that come to my platform and teach something and you will get some good benefits so we have to 
think practical in one or the other way and this is how i'm trying to push myself and get all other mentors from ira and one more thing just understand this fact that any student if he is securing the top rank in the exams and coming into i admitting into ira he will be very much uh, like what you call stringent in thinking that where i have to invest my time right so you will be too much calculative that whether i want to go for this or not because it will definitely waste his time there are a lot of things that the student will think if he is coming to the top premier institute even though like i manage myself to attract the mentors take and come or take them to the our platform and give their expertise to the students i believe like this is something that not everyone can do yeah that's it uh, priti please so a uh, great it was quite helpful in my whole preparation it provided comprehensive study materials and regular mock tests and a plot mainly a platform to interact with teachers also and especially for me i didn't like uh, molecular bi biology portion so one day my friends and my batchmates told me about agregatic platform so i joined it very lately just like january to 2024 so after that i watched your genetics video so that was very helpful for me for understanding molecular genetics and especially the kids note were particularly very helpful for quick revision thank you so much sir for that thank you okay. very much thank you thank you so much uh, danush yes sir yeah sir andre uh, shall i talk in kannada sir yeah yeah no problem i'll uh, translate mm -hmm. ಸ್ಟಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಿಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ <laughs> but if there is someone who is able to guide them and if there is a perfect mock test series then he or she will be in a flow where uh, there will be a pipeline of things that are already there and someone can easily follow it and that has made a lot of difference in his preparation yeah and vivek was actually thanking uh, manoj uh, patike he is from the pathology mentor i am happy that you people are also trying to mention the other mentors this is what it should be Not there is nothing like uh, you people should give the credit only to me because i am talking to you people it's good that you people are recognizing the efforts of our mentors too and so many of you have mentioned that thanks to agredict ari prasad sir and all other mentors so this is how it should be give the collective uh, credit to the two uh, mentors who have been on the platform and helped you in your preparation yeah so there are few more students left like let me just interact with them sir my core but can i show you ಸರ್ ಜೈಸೆ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಖತಮ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಖತಮ್ ಹೋ ಚುಕಾ ಲೇಕಿನ್ ಸರ್ ಮೇ ಆಪ್ ಬಹುತ ಪರೇಶಾನ್ ಕಬ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಆನೆ ಪಹಲೆ ಜಬ್ ಪ್ರೋವಿಂದನ್ ಲೇಕಿನ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಖತಮ ಹೋಣ ಬಹುತ ರೇರ್ ದೇಕ್ yeah this will be definitely this this you can see even in your juniors batch you can see this video for the next year at the same time when the score card is out just see the interaction whatever that you have conveyed and the appreciation that you have given to me and my mentors that will definitely remain as constant the words that you have used similar words you can expect from your juniors that is what i can assure from my side thank you so much uh, next we will have some other interaction with others also ria yes yes sir uh, i would say like the classes were very good i really enjoyed the classes and basically the mock test the questions were like so on point very you know nice nicely helped me in my preparation thank you sir okay thank you thank you so much uh, people are also mentioning about the mock test that's good because there is a lot of problem in the mock test what i have seen from the years when i was also attending there were also so many nonsense questions that we used to post in the groups and all uh, people like me who do not know anything will be literally demotivated by this 
at least this is also making some difference from our platform i am very happy for that next uh, sakshi is it done sakshi did you say something about this or you want to add something so i just want to thank you and every mentor in my credit because each and every one helped me a lot during my preparation in just short period of time and covering the whole syllabus in very short span of time i'm, I'm really very grateful to everyone and the mock test especially they boost my confidence like previously i used to think like whether i'll be able to get any college or not like i've never ever assumed that i'll be scoring this much of marks but after attem attempting the mock test and i i gained confidence before exam also i gained confidence to attempt the exam without any fear so thank you thank you so much sir okay thank you thank you so much uh, sheshatri am i audible yeah you are audible sir i have agreed to your help my preparation very fast i completely rely on agreed to this in last few months of preparation i sit in front of uh, my laptop for all times uh, yeah. for watching a great record videos and all after studying course uh, course materials supplement to that only i read books okay thank you thank you so much that it has helped you in your preparation in every kind of way it was possible thank you so much and all the best for your future and all the best for everyone too and sridhar and i thank all all my mentors yeah. thank you sir. yeah yeah thank you thank you so much i will just i will definitely convey everything to my mentors team like some of the mentors have been in this meet so later they will be also watching this recording in the youtube your wishes your uh, appreciation will definitely reach all our mentors team yeah thank you sridhar you people are energetic i can see the energy in you that you people want to speak and see my energy like even after one hour i am still energetic to uh, listen to your words yeah this is kind of energy that i'm getting from the students i guess like everyone else has all spoken like whatever they wanted to or they uh, sridhar is here yeah hello sir yes sridhar ha ah, sir uh, sir hum sab padhai to kar lete पर सब वो मॉक टेस्ट देने के बाद हमको पता चल जाता है कि किधर हम वीक है तो टेस्ट वो टॉपिक वाइज मॉक टेस्ट आना वो मुझे बहुत हेल्प किया किधर में किस टॉपिक में मैं वीक हूँ वो समझ में मैं फिर मैंने वो फिर से एक बार लेक्चर देख लिए और नोट पढ़ने के बाद वो क्लियर हो गया ओके या फाइन थैंक यू सो मच दैट मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज है लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस दॉपिक वाइज होल सिलेबस एंड एवरीथिंग एल्स thank you thank you so much so okay you people have literally said so many things about the platform everything was literally a pro that means a kind of a positive thing about the platform that you have experience that you have known from the years few of the students like raunik and others are also connected with me in the very third year so that's good like you people vijayth was also with me from the third year only so many have been consistent from two, for the period of two years still they took the course for the two times and this was how much we were able to contribute in their preparation i am very much happy for all of these things but still i want to discuss this in a public platform if there are any negative things that you want to highlight that we can definitely improve on in our future upcoming batches please come forward and put your views on that because this is something that we need because we every time if we get appreciation and the positive things we do not know like where we are lacking so i accept and i welcome the critics and also the negative points that you have felt that it should be improved and there is some lacuna please come forward yes kavya is it audible sir yes you are audible can i speak in kannada yeah no problem but keep it short so that i can translate ಸರ್ ನನ್ನ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳೋದ್ಕಿನ್ನ ನಾನು ನನ್ನ ಜೂನಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸರ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ಒಂದು ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿಂದ ನನ್ಗೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ತಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಫೀಲ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ನಾನು ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೆ ಸರ್ ಬಟ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀನಿ ಸರ್ ನಾನು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ವೀಕ್ಸ್ ರಿವಿಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೆ ಸರ್ ಬಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ವೀಕ್ ನನ್ಗೆ ರಿವಿಷನ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ರಾವ್ ಎದ್ದಿದ್ರಿಂದ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿವಿಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ಕೈಲಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಮುಂಚೆ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾಗ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದ್ಸ ಒಂದ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಕವರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಮಾಕ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನಾನ್ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಒಂದ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಏನಾದ್ರು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನಾನ್ ಸ್ಕಿಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೆ ಸರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ನೋಡಿ ನಂಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಕಿಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೆ ನಾನ್ ಜೂನಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವ್ದೇ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೂ ಸ್ಕಿಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಡ್ರಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮಾಕ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟೇ ಕಷ್ಟ ಆದ್ರೂ ಕೂಡ ಆದಷ್ಟು ಮಾಕ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾ
ಆ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿಂದಾನೆ ನನ್ಗೆ ಇವ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇವ್ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಿರೋ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಂಗೆ ಇವಾಗ ಒಂಥರ ರಿಗ್ರೆಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಮಾಕ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಿತ್ತು ಇನ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಆಗ್ತಿತ್ತು ಅಂತ okay there is always a scope for improvement so you can take this learning from your upcoming uh, preparations so uh, please let me like uh, translate it, like what she has said she said this is regarding the advice to the students of the upcoming batches she said that she has neglected the mock test she was not able to completely attend every mock test she has skipped the mock test wherever she has not felt, felt comfortable and she has not cross checked it so she is advising all the juniors that please do attend the mock test they are very much crucial in your preparation she is ma- making a point that the if she has attended the mock test then she might have got still a better marks than what she has got now based on whatever she is able to listen from the other students so this is what she has conveyed so i need to know anything anything negative about the platform it's not something that i will just call you after this and i will I tell you why you why did you speak anything negative about the platform nothing like that please come forward and say the things so that we can improve on that because there is no matter how big or how good a platform is there is always a scope for improvement and we need to simply work on it honestly and we will definitely do it anything to say sir yes yes sir my suggestion is to start the for next for my juniors start the course earlier so that they'll get more number of revision they'll get more time for revision yeah this time we have uh, just uh, addressed this lacuna by keep providing the uh, recorded classes of your 2024 batch so that they need not to wait for our start of live classes because uh, for us like uh, there is a semester end at september only after that mentors will be able to uh, contribute for the aggregate so this is something that we cannot do anything but to address this what i have done is along with the present course of 2025 all the students who have already joined the course they are getting complete content what you people have uh, got it in the previous year the complete recorded classes study materials and the mock tests are already present is it okay that it is addressed in this way yes sir yes sir okay thank you so much anything else to add please come forward and do it so one more thing sir yeah uh, in the mock test part uh, while checking the answers we need solutions for some of the questions because okay. uh, some of the concepts can be learned there itself mm-hmm. yeah actually i definitely agree with you like this is where something we are working on thank you so much for your input so for the upcoming batch for the mo- the questions which are a little bit complicated tricky that we are going to add the explanation part for that so this is very good thing and very important thing that should be addressed and we are doing it for this batch thank you so much okay. yes can i say one thing freely yeah yeah please sir uh, mock test shuru hua tha स्टार्टिंग में तो प्लांट साइंस के कुछ मॉक टेस्ट में प्रो, आ, मतलब मैंने जहां तक ये देखा कि एक सब्जेक्ट से बहुत ज्यादा क्वेश्चंस आ रहे थे और, और स्टार्टिंग के टेस्ट में प्लांट पैथोलॉजी बिल्कुल आ, बहुत कम क्वेश्चंस थे तो सर अगर क्वेश्चंस स्प्रेड हो तो ज्यादा बेटर होगा इन टर्म्स ऑफ द कंप्लीट सेट 400 प्लस आ जाते थे ओके इन टर्म्स ऑफ और कंप्लीट प्लांट सेट राइट कुछ टेस्ट तो मेरे 300 के नीचे रहते थे हम्म यस सर okay okay so this is like this is done intentionally because the paper would be of similar type year by year you can see there is a weightage difference among the subjects so we'll keep it to optimum stage we no, will not exceed it i will take your uh, opinion and suggestions uh, positively but uh, this is was something i want to clarify see we have done it intentionally that there should be difference in the papers like if we give like eight full length mock test every mock test should not be having like 40 questions from genetics 20 questions from breeding 20 questions or 40 questions from plant pathology that will give stick in your mind that okay this is the amount of questions you get but in the actual exams that this is not a case there would be not much difference about from the average but five to 10 questions it will be always different that's why we have done it but we'll st- try to m- keep it in a optimum level definitely so if it is possible to maintain one fixed time for live classes it would be better sir so that sometimes it like we didn't uh, if we don't know the timings exactly we may yeah yeah so, like miss the classes so yeah we'll surely yeah i will take it yeah this is one thing needed to be addressed so we will make sure that we'll have a fixed schedule for the live classes and if there is any change in timing we'll uh, try to intimate it before one or two days if sometimes uh, for some genuine reason we are not able like so for some very serious reason we are na- not able to provide it on a, a specified time we'll just uh, in, not, in, notify before one or two days otherwise we'll try to keep a fixed schedule so that a student will be always ready that okay at 10 pm there is a class 
or at 7 pm there is a class thank you thank you so much for your suggestion okay so if there are nothing to ex uh, tell you tell anything about other than this if there is anything else you can always come personally text me if you are not able to or you are not able to recall the things right now so you can text me personally and give us the suggestion because your inputs will help us to build this platform in a better way and lastly advice for your juniors so whom should i give a chance to do this who has spoken very less tushar you want to say something we'll do one thing like we we'll let the one person speak if he is missing something other people please add that if you want to add something regarding so this is too much crucial the major or the most important part of this particular meeting is to advise your juniors because this particular video yes it will be mem memorable for you that you have recalled your complete journey in three this three hours plus additionally this meet is actually important that you should have some good message and valuable message for your juniors please sir one uh, suggestion my... for my juniors is uh, whenever they are attempting mock tests they have to attempt in such a way that they are uh, writing the final exam yes exactly yeah moreover sir due to uh, ravab and alp they'll not get much time for preparation so somehow they have to make time at least for 2 hours daily okay yeah that uh, that is the one advice from my side also we'll convey this to your juniors and please share this video with all your juniors so that they will be able to watch this video and ask them if they are not wanting to watch the complete video at least see the last part yeah next uh, tushar yes, yeah yes yes anyone sir uh, so i want to say that uh, stick with the ics uh, This uh, plan says uh, syllabus given by this ICR, and uh, follow that syllabus. After covering that, you can go for uh, that uh, outside of the syllabus. But uh, uh, first of all, you have to be clear with the syllabus. No really. Keep a specified syllabus uh, where you have to start and uh, cover the things. Yeah, this is what even no, I sir, suggest. No, uh, sir. Follow the uh, ICR syllabus. Then. Yeah, yeah. The got syllabus it. Given like... by the... Yes, yes. so we have to just be, uh, be thorough with the syllabus that we have for the exam and then start our preparation not blindly just we know that we know we know the standard books and we start reading from the chapter 1 yeah okay thank you yes tushar and uh, my voice is audible yes you are audible so sir matlab juniors ko to yahi message dena chahunga ki jitna ho sake third year se hi preparation start kar de wahi behtar rehta hai kyunki cheeze aap utni zyada cover kar pate ho sabse ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट चीज जो होती है वो होता है रिवीजन मल्टीपल रिवीजन ज्यादा बुक्स को ज्यादा रिवीजन नहीं करना लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेज को ज्यादा बार रिवीजन करना हमें जैसे कि चार पांच बुक्स ही होती है पढ़ने को तो बी डी सिंह और जेनेटिक्स की जो है दोनों बुक्स इनको हमें मल्टीपल रिविजन देना पड़ेगा क्योंकि अभी जो पेटर्न चल रहा है वो असरसल रीजन का पेटर्न चल रहा है तो उस केस में हमें कंसेप्ट को पकड़ना पड़ेगा और कंसेप्ट पे ज्यादा फोकस करना पड़ेगा तो इसके लिए हमें मल्टीपल रिविजन की बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत होगी तो उस चीज के लिए हमें ऑब्वियसली टाइम तो चाहिए क्योंकि तो एक बार पढ़ के हम चीजों को बेटर वे में समझ नहीं सकते तो इसके लिए हमें टाइम लगेगा तो कम से कम एटलीस्ट हमें कुछ ना ना करते हुए भी तो ऑनवर्ड पे इस चीज के बारे में सोचना चाहिए कि हाँ हमें इस फील्ड से करनी है तो तैयारी स्टार्ट कर देनी चाहिए जैसे कि मैंने तो नहीं मतलब सोच रखा था कि हाँ इसी फील्ड से करेंगे बट उस पर मतलब तैयारी स्टार्ट नहीं कर पाया था मैं एट से स्टार्टिंग के बाद तैयारी मैंने स्टार्ट की थी तो वो थोड़ा सा मुझे लगता है कि एक नेगेटिव पॉइंट है जब मुझे पता था कि सिक्स टेम से कि हाँ मुझे ये चीज करनी है प्लांट साइंस से ही करनी है तो मुझे उस वक्त से ही कर लेनी चाहिए थी तैयारी बट मैं नहीं करता था अपने दूसरे कामों में लगा देता था जैसे कि खेलना वगैरह घूमना इन सब में मेरा मन लेता था ज्यादा तो बट मुझे उस वक्त से ही करनी चाहिए थी तैयारी तो एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मार्क्स में इंक्रीज कर सकता था अगर सब से करता अभी तक तैयारी तो यही रहेगा कि कब से आपको चीजें पता होनी चाहिए पहले क्या क्या पढ़ना है चीजें पता होनी चाहिए क्या क्या नहीं पढ़ना है आपको आपके रिसोर्सेस पता होने चाहिए आपको ये चीज पता होनी चाहिए कि आपको कोचिंग से ये चीजें लेनी है ये चीजें पढ़नी है मॉक टेस्ट रेगुलर लगाने हैं ऑब्जेक्टिव्स को ऐसा नहीं है कि आप बाद में लगा रहे हो एग्जाम के टाइम पे मैंने एग्जाम से दस पंद्रह दिन पहले ऑब्जेक्टिव लगाना स्टार्ट किया था तो वो सब चीजें थोड़ी खराब होती है मतलब टाइम रहते ही इन सब चीजों को लगाना चाहिए चैप्टर पढ़ा आपने जो वो डालते हो आप आपके शॉर्ट नोट जो डालते हो क्लासेस के बाद उसको बिल्कुल रिवीजन करिए उसके बाद जाइए ऑब्जेक्टिव उसको लगाने सबसे पहले आपके क्लासेस के मॉक टेस्ट को लगाइए उसके बाद आप जाके बीके प्रसाद या बीडी सिंह के जो ऑब्जेक्टिव है उसको लगाइए उसके बाद जाके अगर आप कोई 
ग्रुप ज्वाइन कर रहे थे जैसे कि बहुत सारे ग्रुप मिल जाते हैं उनको टेलीग्राम पे यार ऑब्जेक्टिव वाले दिन तो दस से बीस क्वेश्चन रोज डालते हैं उसको लगाइए आप पॉसिबल हो सके तो अगर आपके जैसे तीन चार बंदे हैं तैयारी करने वाले एक साथ तो आप उनसे बैठ के डिस्कस करिए एक आध घंटा जैसे मेरे साथ तो कोई नहीं था तो मैं तो ऐसे ही अपना अकेला तनाई में ही रहता था बाकी अगर है अगर आपको लगता है कि तीन चार बंदे हैं जो डिस्कस के लायक है उनके साथ हम जाके डिस्कस कर सकते हैं बिल्कुल तो उनसे डिस्कस करिए ताकि कुछ चीजें आपको उनसे पता पड़ेगी कि हाँ ये चीज भी बताई कुछ चीजें आप उन्हें प्रोवाइड कर सकोगे तो ये थोड़ा बेटर रहता है आई थिंक ग्रुप डिस्कशन अमोंग विद द क्लासेस और सेल्फ स्टडी के बाद चीजें आपको ग्रुप डिस्कशन में भी बहुत सारी चीजें पता पड़ती है तो ये सब चीजें करनी चाहिए और जितना जल्दी हो सके कोचिंग क्लासेस ले लेनी चाहिए उसके बाद आपको स्टडी मेटेरियल प्रेफर करना चाहिए और पढ़ाई को आपके जितने अर्ली हो सके उतना कैरी फॉरवर्ड करना चाहिए ताकि आप आपके नंबर्स को इंक्रीज कर सकें और जे की प्रोबेबिलिटी आपको लग सके ओके या दैट्स ऑल द कॉम्प्रेहेंसिव गाइडेंस टू द जूनियर्स लाइक ईच वन ऑफ यू लाइक वी विल बी गिविंग यू अपॉर्चुनिटी टू प्रोवाइड अ पर्सनल इंटरव्यू वेयर यू कैन शेयर एवरी बिट ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट यू फील दैट इट इज नेसेसरी फॉर द जूनियर्स इन डिटेल ओके इट विल बी डन इन द नेक्स्ट वंस यू गेट दर रैंक कार्ड सो वील बी डूइंग इट पर्सनल इंटरव्यू फॉर एवरी वन ईच वन ऑफ यू सो प्लीज बी प्रिपेयर फॉर इट एंड दिस इज विद अ प्योर इंटेंशन दैट यू टू प्रोवाइड अ वैल्यूएबल गाइडेंस एंड सजेशन टू योर जूनियर्स ओके क्या anyone wants anyone else wants to add in, in a very short and crisp way because you will be getting the opportunity to discuss everything in detail in your personal interview where you can specifically put your views and thoughts and guide your juniors in a very detailed manner but if you want to just add anything in crisp you can do it now yeah itna hello sir yes 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 please sir bas itna hi hai sir wo baaki sabne bataya wahi wahi hai same sir बस हो सके तो थर्ड ईयर से मैंने जैसे लेट स्टार्ट किया था तो हो सके तो थर्ड ईयर से टाइम रहते हुए स्टार्ट करें तो चीजें कवर हो जाती है पीछे कुछ नहीं छूटता है और और ज्यादा 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 से ज्यादा सर कुछ टॉपिक ऐसे होते हैं जिसमें सर शॉर्ट नोट्स बनाने जरूरी होते हैं जैसे फंग फंजाई का क्लासिफिकेशन वगैरह है तो वो फिर उसमें सर क्यूब रीजन वगैरह हो पाएगा लास्ट टाइम में फिर छूटेगी नहीं और कुछ चीजें ऐसी होती है जैसे सर वही सर जो चीजें भूल जाते हैं बार बार जो फैक्ट्स वगैरह है तो उनके शॉर्ट नोट्स बनाओ और बार बार पढ़ो और कंटिन्यूटी मेन बात है सर बल दो घंटे पढ़ रहे हो तो फिर डेली पढ़ो फिर दो घंटे एग्जैक्टली कंसिस्टेंसी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव साथ-साथ में करो सर बाद में या साथ-साथ में हो ज्यादा से ज्यादा ऑब्जेक्टिव करेंगे तो उतना ही ज्यादा सर कांसेप्ट क्लियर होगा ओके ओके थैंक यू अभिषेक लाइक इफ यू वांट टू ऐड एनीथिंग लाइक यू कैन ऐड इट इन द लास्ट ओके फाइन सो देयर इज वन मोर क्वेश्चन लाइक व्हिच यू ऑल कैन आंसर बट प्लीज मेक इट शॉर्ट एंड क्रिस्प बिकॉज़ यू विल बी गेटिंग अ डिटेल्ड चांस टू गिव इट इन अ डिटेल लेटर सो इफ यू वांट टू thank everyone not only agreedit i know like you have already everyone has literally thanked so many times the agreedit apart from agreedit is there is any senior is there any professor is there anyone else the batchmates the friends the family who have specifically supported you in your preparation this is a chance and a platform where you can publicly thank them so that they will be also happy that after seeing this video will start from danush like this is for everyone everyone will get a chance but please make sure to keep it keep it short and crisp yeah danish sir uh, firstly i would like to thank my batchmates sir uh, especially okay. spurti vijay i joined agreedit because of vijay yeah and he told me about this course and uh, group uh, we used to do some group discussions sir uh, on general agriculture topics and even uh, whatever doubts i used to get i used to clarify it with uh, spurti uh so in my preparation uh, my batchmates also helped a lot so i would like to thank them sir okay it's good like the actually the students see others as a competitors but when it comes to a uh, preparing for some exams it should be a, a kind of discussion based where you just potentially see others as in a positive way where they will be able to help in your preparation that's good culture to develop of having a group discussion having a short group of a like minded students which will who will help in your preparation good next itender you want to just this is for everyone please be prepared and just thank the persons you want to because if you thank someone on a public platform that makes a good impact on the people and they will be motivated enough to also guide the upcoming batches and the juniors also yes yes sir yeah sir i would like to thank uh, my batchmates sir actually unhone hi matlab mujhe motivate kiya tha maine jaise bataya sir last mein preparation shuru kiya tha aur ek especially sir hamare senior hai sir rishi sir wo phd mein the to hamari uh-huh. university mein unhone bahut motivate kiya kyunki bola ki tu last mein hai to kya hua 
जैसे कोशिश करेगा तो हो जाएगा तो या दिस मैजिकल वर्ड्स अ मैटर्स अ लॉट या थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच एंड आई आल्सो आई आल्सो पर्सनली थैंक यू सीनियर फॉर मोटिवेटिंग यू एंड पुशिंग यू टुवर्ड्स अ गुड थिंग्स या मिथुन सर आई जस्ट थैंक टू ऑल दोस हु यूज्ड टू पोस्ट दैट डाउट्स इन द मास्टर मास्टर कोर्स ग्रुप बिकॉज़ फ्रॉम दैट ग्रुप आई हैव लर्नड अ लॉट because i used to get to know which and all the concepts i used to study still or which and all the concepts which i don't know uh, most of the most of the topics and most of the doubts i have cleared in that group itself i have to thank all the group members in that yeah thank you thank you so much next mohammed i mean hello sir yeah so uh, ah so i want to thank my senior um, in my college santa kan sir and he's also as a proper of uh, agronomy plants uh, and agronomy in uh, 2000 so uh, i told him i get to know about this and then digna and also he told me for the preparation so i want to thank him okay thank you thank you so much priti uh, sir i would like to thank my batchmates especially uh, uh, shushmit and monica for Uh, advising me to join agri addict they are always keep mot- keeping motivate me and that's it sir okay thank you thank you so much and i also personally thank them for suggesting our platform yeah i i'm seeing like a, you people have lot of uh, your friends have lot of impact on your results and your current stage and they have literally helped you in your preparation that's a quite a very good thing that you have a very positive environment around you you, you all yeah that's the good thing yeah vishwaja sir i'm uh, very thankful to my professor pathology professor rajendra sir he used to always motivate me he used to call me and uh, he used to ask me how was my preparation going on so i'm very thankful to him sir. okay thank you thank you so much next riya so i would like to thanks mosam ma'am my senior she only told me about agri addict and everything so thanks to mm-hmm. her Okay, Mausam. I'll convey convey this to her, and also you can tell her to watch this session. She will be definitely because she they will be able to recall the things that we since they have done it in the previous year, uh, previous year session. She has joined it, and for that she will be definitely watching this video. How it has changed in a year. Yeah. Thank you. And Sana. So I must thank my friends and my parents who believed in me, and also some of my seniors who helped me, and also your team. i must thank you all yeah. i couldn't say any particular one yeah thank it's you. good at least you were able to say thank you that's a big thing nothing else yeah this thank is the learning phase we all learn to just try to express the things that we have on our mind yeah. it's a thank you okay sakshi uh, i would like to thank first of all god my family and after that my friends et rahila pratiksha di like thank you so much because they are they were the one who used to do my work at the elp so that i can study in the limited time and okay. i had very health issues for the so i couldn't study it for like from november to february till february after that they motivated me so much and i fully i can say that because of that i'm here so uh, thank you so much guys okay thank you thank you so much and uh, thanks to thanks from behalf of my side also to all your friends next sridhar हाँ सर मैं मेरे दोस्तों को इस सक्रेट दे सकता हूँ मेरे रुशिद गुर पड़े नाम उसका और बरनी जिसने मुझे आपके एग्रेड के बारे में बताया आपके बारे में बताया सो लाइक आई एम सीइंग लाइक इन एवरीवन्स प्रिपरेशन फ्रेंड्स आर प्लेइंग अ वेरी क्रूशियल रोल दैट गुड टू हियर नेक्स्ट सोमेजित आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक माय सीनियर्स आयुषी मैम एंड आयशरिया मैम दे आर आल्सो पार्ट ऑफ एग्री एडिट 23 बैच या दे एक्चुअली रेफर्ड मी रेफर्ड मी फॉर दस फॉर द कोर्स एग्री एडिट मास्टर बैच थैंक यू ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच एंड आई आल्सो थैंक देम फॉर रेफरिंग आवर प्लेटफॉर्म एंड एनकरेजिंग अस spurti so firstly i would like to thank uh, mahesh sir for motivating me to take this plant science and secondly i would like to thank the entire agriadic team uh, for rendering the service which is helping many of the students especially for me and finally i would like to thank all my friends because there are many days where i used to skip uh, my dinner uh, during my preparation they they were the ones uh, who You, they used to bring the food to my room so that i can eat while studying 
so i would like to thank them also sir okay thank you thank you so much next sugaresh sir first i would like to thank you thank my senior sarthak sir who helped me and guide me from third year itself and later my friend shweta and senior gayatri ka suggested me a grade it and i would like to thank them and i want to thank you sir you came to our campus and uh, told us to what to read and what not to tell it helped a lot for me sir and uh, lastly i want to thank my friends and uh, batchmates who helped me a lot sir okay thank, thank you, you thank you so much tushar yes sir yeah sabse pehle to sir ghar walon ko thanks bolunga ki wo thoda hamesha jab bhi call karte the to yahi puchte the ki kaisi chal rahi preparation to wo thoda yaad bhi aa jata tha do teen din jaise preparation skip kari to yaad bhi aa jata tha ki are yaar उनको भी याद है कि प्रिपरेशन का पूछना है अपनी नहीं कर रहे प्रिपरेशन तो फिर लगता था कि चलो थोड़ा प्रिपरेशन करना चाहिए कभी कभी जैसा मन करता था तो दो दो दिन तक प्रिपरेशन रोक देते थे किसी और चीज में मन लगने लग जाता था तो फिर वो ऐसे उनका फोन आता था तो लगने लगता था कि हाँ नहीं करना चाहिए घर वालों को थोड़ा उम्मीद है उसके बाद फ्रेंड जैसे की मेरा एक फ्रेंड है आपके बेस्ट है सोयल साइंस से अंकित मीणा वो मतलब मुझे सुबह उठ के ले जाता था लाइब्रेरी छह बजे अच्छी खासी ठंड पड़ती थी उसमें भी ले जाता था चल वहां से हम जाते थे लाइब्रेरी में कुछ पढ़ लेते थे वैसे तो सो के उठते थे ग्यारह बजे फिर नाश्ता करते करते खाने का टाइम हो जाता था तो वो एक था जो मुझे ले जाता था सुबह उठा के कि चलना चाहिए लाइब्रेरी एंड के मंथ लास्ट के वन और टू मंथ में तो वो बहुत हेल्प थी मेरे लिए कि हाँ मैं सुबह सुबह पढ़ लेता था तीन चार घंटे तो काफी हेल्प हुई उस चीज से मेरी और बाकी एग्री एडिक्स प्लेटफॉर्म में तो की है वो तो अनबिलीवेबल है थैंक यू जय भारत Okay, thank you, Tushar. Thank you so much, Sugresh. Uh, sorry, Sugresh is done. Varshita, well, only left with Varshita. I see. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah, hello. Vivek, uh, Vivek is left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Please continue. Ha, ha, sir. I would like to thank all of my friends who helped me during my preparation. Ah, uh, I personally uh, men- uh, want to mention one name that is Abhishek sir. Definitely. Uh, like even though i don't know him personally uh, like uh, he is not my senior like i somehow got his contact number and he listened all my flights for us and he explained everything in detail uh, like he is the one who suggested uh, this platform and i will uh, i thank him and i thank all of the group members in agriadec like even if i post the stupidest question they have uh, answered it uh, like if i want to mention the names Haridani, Spurti, Preeti, and I don't know them. I haven't even met them, but they have helped me helped me in my preparation. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, Vivek, uh, sir, I want to thank my father. I want to say that he has helped me a lot. Before that, I had dropped the NEET, but after that, he also helped me so much. Secondly, I want to thank my father that he has helped me a lot. Before that, I had dropped the NEET, but after that, he also helped me so much. के बारे में बताया था कि मेरे एक फ्रेंड है जो ऐसे से एक प्लेटफॉर्म शुरू कर रहे हैं तो मैं उस उनके थ्रू आपके प्लेटफॉर्म पर आया थर्ड आ, मैं सबसे ज्यादा थैंक करना चाहूंगा मेरे फ्रेंड आदित्य को उसने मुझे बहुत सपोर्ट किया हम दोनों ने साथ में प्रिपरेशन करी और उससे मुझे बहुत फायदा हुआ और सर okay. ये ये कहना चाहिए नहीं कहना चाहिए बट मैं इस प्लेटफॉर्म से अपनी गर्लफ्रेंड को भी थैंक यू कहना चाहूंगा उसने सर मुझे बहुत मोटिवेट किया उसने मुझे जब भी मैं डाउन फील करता था उसने मुझे बताया कि आ, तुमसे नहीं होगा तो और किससे होगा तुम कर सकते हो दैट्स किप मी गोइंग और सर मेरे टीचर्स ने भी मुझे बहुत सपोर्ट किया कि तुमसे बहुत उम्मीदें हैं तुम कर लोगे yeah. तो yeah that's being honest is something that everyone every can not be like uh, your girlfriend will be also very happy that you have publicly said that uh, thank her for being a part in your preparation and in your life yeah thank you so much esika sir firstly i want to thank to my pan pathology staffs dr sundaramurthy sir and dr jayagane sir both of them are my inspiration for that only i take this plant science course and i want to thank my all friends who are supporting me and give me confidence i personally mention one name mukesh kumar he is my friend and he is my guide and uh, yeah thank you thank you so much so that's it so this is what i wanted to discuss and want what i want to know from you people everyone's story is unique and different and everyone's story might be the same of the upcoming batch also where they can personally connect with your story and be motivated and just 
prepare themselves to give their best in the exam of upcoming batch so lastly just i wanted to give some information regarding the upcoming batch as you all know like you people are already sharing it on your whatsapp accounts so just wanted to repeat there are we have started two batches for the upcoming uh, icr pg plan sciences and other subjects where they have a sreshta batch and samartha batch in which like we have given two years of validity for students who want to prepare from the starting of second year and third year and for the students who are starting their preparation in the fourth year the target batch of sreshta that for 2025 and we have have also included the social science and the horticulture which was the request of numerous students from north india especially because there are so many students who, who are actually wanting for some platform we will give the quality content and they have uh, literally requested me so many times but it still took so much of time because i was searching some potential mentor who can actually justify the is is or a role finally we have got a very dedicated mentor team for the social science and horticulture too along with the other subjects which we all already had in the previous year so i completely expect your uh, support and encouragement to make us reach as many student as possible for coming to the demo classes classes everything is available in our youtube channel you need not to tell anyone that blindly take the class you just convey the message that they are doing the live classes they are giving the content and they will provide the coaching for all the different subjects of the, the agriculture starting with the plant science soil science entomology agronomy social science and horticulture only thing is they you have to push them to our graded uh, youtube channel where if they are interested after watching our live uh, recorded classes that are uploaded so based on their interest if they are wanting to take the courses they will be doing it but at least please it's your duty and responsibility that you at least give the inform necessary information to your juniors so that they will be at least getting to know about the platform and obviously like i know you all are confident to share these things with your friends please do it and also with your juniors and help us to build this platform in a such a way that it will help so many students in the future not only for the icrpg for all other exams which we are going to launch in the future years okay i personally thank each and every one i literally do not know like how the two and a half hours has went i was not even i was very much conscious and concentrated concentrating on the meeting that i did not even look at the time so i got to know that it's already been two and a half hours which i did not personally feel so that i have sat for two and a half hours and interacted with the students it was a literally a memorable day for me to interact with you all as like it was the same for the previous year the year by year i believe and hope that the platform and our efforts the content and the kind of support we are giving it increases and the performance will get get better and better year by year we are always trying for the same thing so thank you so much for everyone Uh, and uh, abhishek if you want to conclude anything please yeah yeah actually i'm waiting from <clears throat> i'm also waiting from two hours <laughs> <laughs> finally i got a chance to talk with uh, in, in in between of toppers i got a chance <laughs> so okay. i uh, actually um, i do so many of you don't know me because i didn't took any classes for you guys uh, and but i know everyone in the excel sheets are in the uh, google forms and everywhere i know every one of you where are you from and what you guys are doing uh, actually you know one thing uh, you are sex- I, I, i am not able to see every one of uh, of your faces so but i am uh, seeing that uh, everyone's success in in the face of hari prasad <laughs> i know how much you worked uh, day and night for this success so that's why we are uh, seeing this much of students in the top uh, ranks i personally congratulate everyone for your uh, success and uh, also in future we are always with you for anything any uh, not only for counseling or not only for uh, your uh, admission in any way in any anything we are always with you so you can you guys can uh, uh, connect with us anytime i would uh, and, and i also thank to everyone for uh, being in this meeting i am actually seeing from two hours uh, anyone is leaving or <laughs> are joining so it's actually from uh, two hours that ca- number is constant from 30 but now it's one, one by one they are leaving but this is yeah it's because to of see the dinner also <laughs> yeah yeah and i also uh, th- uh, congratulate each and every one mentors also uh, apart from ari prasad who uh, did this uh, mission very successful and uh, thank you thank you everyone yeah
thank you thank you so much like i actually want to mention the names of the mentors also we have abhishek we have rupa kavya we have arivijaya teja we have uh, manoj patike we have arshini ashwini and uh, like um, we have uh, other mentors from the microbiology like prajwal and for myself and sandeep manu manjanaik so these there are a lot of many mentors behind the screens who are working day and night whatever work i give they personally do it with utmost utmost interest so i thank each and everyone for the same and uh, uh, lately like we have also introduced the uh, indi mentors for pathology like ananya was also been in the team from the past 2 to 3 months so i also thank her for whatever uh, contribution she has made in our platform and the prem kumar who has recently joined us so and all other mentors of the plant science and other subjects so who have been in the platform and also to the all the students who have been in the part of this agreed family let this family grow at the flying colors so that we get a shelter from this family in the future gen future days and also our future generations will be sheltered under this family yeah thank you so much and lastly thanks for attending this meet in your crucial time i know like this is a time to enjoy spend some free time uh, after the year of dedicated work and hard work so even in this free time you people have given your precious two and half hours to me and to our platform i really very grateful for you and your support to agreed it keep supporting let's build this and continue uh, supporting and uh, contributing for the betterment of the students in agriculture thank you so much with this i conclude this session thank you